Hello, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome to the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Any Percent No Mount Skips Tournament. That is a mouthful and will be every time. This is a round three race with the new Amber, new Amber versus Trevaria versus Thomas Patrick WX. This is going to be a really good race because everyone in this race is very, very good and no one knows who's going to win. It's going to be great. I am Phoenix Melior and I am joined today by uh, Matt, aka King Trubs on commentary. How you doing, Matt? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Great intro there today. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm really excited for this race. I think this is arguably one of the best races that we have in the third round here. Um, any of these three runners can win today. Uh, all three of them are, you know, sub 305 for their PBs. And I'm just I'm really looking forward to a fantastic race from all three of them here today. Same here. This is going to be such a good one. And as I say every time, I hope whoever picks Girl 3 wins. Um, and hopefully that will mean that I can keep myself non-biased. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see who, who picks Girl 3. And then we'll root exactly. I mean, Girl 3 is the canon of, Correct. The, yeah. of the, the player characters for this game. So, you know, we'll, we'll definitely see, um, see what, what we get for, for our starters here. Yeah, it is the most important choice of the entire run. Um, everything else kind of is secondary to that. Uh, we're just getting started very shortly as uh, the countdown begins. And then we will see um, what we're getting in terms of starters. Today we have New Amber and T-Pat on Eevee and Trevaria on Pika. So a nice variety. Yeah, definitely. And I I know talking a little bit with the uh, with the runners before the race here, I know they've they've all got kind of their own unique strats for for what they're going to do depending on what natures they get for their starter. So I'm really curious to see how many people are going to or how many of these three are going to reset for a bad nature, and how many of them are just going to take it and run and try and try and make best with a uh, uh, with a, a possible bad starter. Yeah, um, I think the the general strat that we heard this morning was. Uh, Triv is going to reset minus attack natures. Uh, T-Pat was th thinking probably the same thing, resetting minus attack natures and maybe speed based on the conversation we had. And uh, Amber is going to YOLO whatever they get. So, you know, we'll see what happens from there. Yeah, definitely. And and it does hurt. I mean, with the, the minus attack, minus special attack natures, minus speed, all three of them can be runnable. It's just a matter matter of, especially for the EVs, getting even more experience points to make make up that uh, that difference in in uh, uh, the the stats there. Yep, yep, definitely. Um, big experience can make all the difference, and sometimes you bank on that. Um, <laughs> someone in chat saying Amber, you know, favorite Pokemon, giant Pikachu. Also Amber running Eevee. Yeah, well, you know, got to switch I mean, it up every once in a while. I mean, you're not wrong, although Amber could have just been pointing out, you know, Gigantamax Pikachu's, uh, you know, booty there. So get a little big little P, dumper action. <laughs> one of the Pokemon with a big booty um, right up there with Gator. Exactly. The backside of G-Max Pikachu specifically, it's about the booty. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, here we are coming right up to the most important decision of All the right. run. First decision. What do we get? Girl 3 from all girl three. three. Girl 3. Let's oh, go. we got Girl 3 race. That's Okay, anybody's game. Anyone can take this race. If you told me any of them went, get first, second, or third, doesn't matter. They all picked girl three. This is the way. This is the way. We're, we're going to have... Everybody wins today. You know, just from everybody that, wins. everybody wins. <laughs> all right, and we're getting our, our our names put in there. You know, we're getting that... Du the, one of the only double input points of this entire game is oh. actually on the naming screen. And so it looks hitting... like actually all of our players have girl starters, which is cool if they don't yeah, have they to do. reset. Women for the win today. Common WW. <laughs> All right. First menu of the game is going to set options. Obviously, you want fast text speed. You want the option to skip your cutscenes, and you don't want to have to the game ask you every time a new Pokemon is about to be sent out into the battle if you want to switch, because that's slow. So all the players are going to make that choice. Uh, keeping vibration on, which, you know, makes no difference, but why not? Uh, and then you just kind of want to get out of here to go to your first catch. Um, the first thing we can look for on Triv's screen is the CP of the Pikachu. Uh, if you have a 27 CP Pikachu, that means that it is a neutral nature. Uh, if you see 26, it is not neutral and runs the chance of being good 
better than neutral or bad, unrunnable. So we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, with with Eevee, that's that's one of the drawbacks for Eevee is that you don't you don't get to see that right away. Um, most runners at this point are you know in the races they're checking their natures right when they grab the grab the starter. Uh, a lot of runners though are just running with it and then they wait until the first trainer or the second trainer for the Eevee battles at least uh, to uh, to see what the stats are to know if they're going to reset or not on PB attempts attempts. So we'll uh, we'll see what our natures are looking like most likely for all three of these runners here in the next uh, next minute or so. Yeah, we'll see. I'm not sure if um, Amber if, if they're just going to yolo may not look, but we'll find out. Yeah, I know Amber did mention that she did not have a backup uh, backup file prepared, so she might oh, okay. just yolo it and just go. Um, but we'll yeah. we'll definitely see here. In which case, we'll see on the first trainer in the forest whether or not the EV is good. Um, oh, T Pack getting motion controlled. Such is this game sometimes, where yeah, nothing nothing ever works out the way you want it to. How many times have I started this game where it just goes over my head because I'm trying to play fast? More more times than I can count for me. <laughs> yep, motion controls. Hopefully, that is the only motion control moment in the run for T Pack. That would be preferred uh, to have Hopefully. it right out of the way right now. But, uh, but yeah, I, I did happen to miss what uh, what Trevaria's. Uh, I did too because CP I was too busy like. looking at T Pat's uh, over the head throw. <laughs> T Pat T Pat distracted us. It's okay. It's okay. That was <laughs> that was worth it. I'm sure Triv Triv might check here anyway, um, if they're worried about minus attack, which is fair. Very very fair. I know Pika has a, a rougher go of it with that minus attack. Eevee at least gets a balance of special and physical attacks for its uh, its move set throughout the run. Uh, Pika relies very heavily on that uh, that zippy zap there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and Amber got a frame perfect skip. As did I think Triv and Teapot just a tiny little bit slow on the mashing there. Uh, doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, but it's a fun thing to keep track of. And Amber yeah. is just going. YOLO Amber and Triv. Timid Pika. I believe that's minus speed. Oh, okay, yeah. That, that no, is sorry. Plus speed, but, minus attack. Plus speed, minus and attack. I, I got it back. I missed what T Pats was, but T Pats must be runnable as he is just going with it. Yeah, Timid Bleh. So Triv is going to take the reset, which I completely understand. Minus attack for Pika in particular. Very bad. Very bad. So let's go for a neutral, neutral Pika instead for Triv and hopefully the. AVs shake out well. Um, AVs being awakening values. It's the name that the community has given the extra um, one point of stat that every level up gets. It's random with certain leanings towards certain stats, depending on your characteristic and your nature. Um, but it really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, and it can just kind of shake out whichever way it wants. Uh, we'll see if they end up being good for Triv, giving her extra attack or speed or special attack. That might help with some ranges throughout the run. Uh, if not, well, minimum is runnable. You might just lose a couple turns. Exactly, and and that's that's the one big thing with with the starters, especially with these this caliber of runners, especially when they're going for PB attempts, is you know you want to try and have that optimal starter as as much as possible. Um, just so that way you're not losing any additional turns that you otherwise would not get with a, a better better special attack, attack, or, or even speed stat. Um, mm -hmm. You know, just those those few small things here and there is, is really what puts these runners into, you know, kind of that, that upper echelon of, of runners for Let's Go. Mm -hmm. uh, chat did saying that uh, T-Pat's EV was naive. Um, naive. Which, okay. Which I can't Very remember nice. what that is. that is. Do you know? That is plus speed minus special defense. So okay. Uh, definitely not. Definitely not a bad EV to get. Um, I've PB multiple times with uh, with naive nature EVs. So mm -hmm. as I learned recently, minus defense can be a little risky on EV. Um, minus special defense less so. It's still like a couple of fights are kind of awkward. But the plus speed can be really helpful for a couple places in particular hideout, which. To me, it's probably the hardest place in the run that we'll get to right around the middle section. Um, there's just so much in that section that can go wrong, or you can have so many different strats for it. All right, Amber, T-Pat, and very soon Triv will be getting into the first fight of the run. Um, Eevee can technically two or three turn this, and I think for Pika, it's probably usually three turn. Um, so we'll see what ends up happening here. 
Okay, and it does look like either Amber low rolled. Nope, Amber has a minus attack EV. It does look like oh. here. Um, the special attack looks like it's a neutral special attack for for her. Um, T Pat, obviously, we already know he's minus special defense plus speed. And then Triv's got gonna have that neutral, so she's probably gonna be looking at a, uh, a four shot without a crit on uh, on rival one here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hopefully, no status lag. That's really probably the best you can hope for 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 Pika like that. Yeah, status lag is is no fun, especially when you get paralyzed turn one by the uh, the Pikachu and Eevee runs. Yeah. <laughs> It's so random too, because there's definitely been times where I've like had it happen and then it doesn't really lag. And then there's other times where it's just like, yep, here's, you get to look at your Pokemon for like three seconds. Yeah, it's, uh, it's so for the status lag, for those that are unfamiliar with, with the term status lag, it's, it's really when your, uh, your Pokemon or your opponent's Pokemon has a status of either paralyze, burn, or, uh, uh, sleep and basically even though we don't play with animations for moves there's still sounds that go with uh go with those three statuses that when the basically the game will start that animation you'll see you'll see it on screen but you don't hear anything but it's going to basically act like that sound is still playing and the game will not progress until that sound file is done running so yeah, this game that's, maybe that's not what the status lag. Maybe not the most well optimized game, but it's certainly better than some of the other ones on the Switch. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at you. <laughs> Looking at you, Scarlet Violet. I mean, what? Uh, oh, anyway. Huh? Uh, <laughs> so, so we'll get a peek at um, Triv's um, first AV after this fight. Um, for some reason, fighting the EV uh, when you are a Pikachu gives you one extra experience, uh, which means that you level up on this trainer instead of the trainer in the, the first trainer in the forest, uh, which is strange and I guess gives Pika that little bit of a reset edge where you, you don't have to reset quite as often, or at least you don't have to check your um, mm -hmm. your nature all the time. Uh, Definitely. And t -Pat opting to go for Route 2 Bug, which I'm, I'm a big fan of lately. Um, it's a 93% chance with no no circle on no circle? that catch. Okay. So basically and guaranteed if you hit the circle. Almost well. a guaranteed, exactly. And it's something where now every single catch that T-Pat gets in Forest, he can have 2C4. So if he gets Glowing Pika or Glowing Bulba on the way to the lure, he can now safely 2C that, uh, that catch there. Yeah, and I've had a lot of breakouts in Forest this tourney. Uh, so I, I completely understand wanting to go for an early catch. Let's see, Amber getting a speed AV to start, which is you know, fine. Um, you kind of prefer attacking ones, so, but speed can make a difference for at least outspeeding the Pidgeotto on rival boat, I want to say. Exactly. And and Amber actually has, uh, funnily enough, Amber actually has Timid Nature as well. So we True. had two two of our starters get uh, Timid Nature uh, mm -hmm. with T-Pat getting that, uh, that naive there as the, the odd one out. Uh, I noticed Triv saying in chat, um, more than 50% minus attack rate this week. Um, there's a little joke in the community that Triv has really bad switch entropy, meaning that the random numbers that are generated by her switch are not great. I was joking yesterday that whoever wins the tourney needs to buy her a new switch. Uh, <laughs> just so she can finally break the, the 303 barrier, which, you know, might be helpful. It, that might oh, be. No. It, it, it is Let's something see. that has been... Okay. Oh, okay, there we go. Amber, Amber got, got sand attack. Deck. Yeah, so brief bit of worry, but hit the tackle no problem. So that's good. No worries but, there. But yeah, I, I know I've I, I know I've personally had it, and I've seen I've seen T Pat have some of the worst luck ever with getting the uh, uh, getting minus attack after minus attack nature on uh. resets. And uh, I think at one point he had like three or four modest natures in a row for uh, for Eevees. So that was, uh, you know, it, it, you go through those stretches where, you know, six, seven runs in a row are, are not runs mm -hmm. because you just don't get the right nature. Amber going for the first lured catch of the of the race, um, getting a Weedle here because I didn't see a Caterpie for her right away. 
Um, so we'll have to see if we can look out for one. So Evie is looking for a uh, Caterpie, Weedle, and Bellsprout, and preferably a Pika as well, because they need to get to level 10, where Pika only needs to get to level 9. Um, at those levels, both Pokemon learn Double Kick, and that's how Eevee gets through fighting Brock. For Pikachu, um, you catch an Oddish instead, which is way better at taking down um, Brock's Pokemon than uh, the Pika is. Uh, Triv getting a Pika a little awkward, but that's okay. Can just uh, move around. T Pat also getting a Pikachu. That's a little bit better for him. Uh, it's a little bit he, better for him because he needs the extra experience compared to Amber because he caught a bug outside the forest. You get quite a little bit less experience that way. Yeah, you uh, that that pre pre forest bug. You can get up to twenty two experience points depending on if it's glowing or not and how well the catch is. Yeah. Um, he did catch level three, which is the max level that those pre-forest bugs can be. So that Weedle will take a little while to, to level up all the way to a Beedrill. The nice thing is he's very unlikely to hit level 13 with it, where mm -hmm. Beedrill would then learn an additional move. Unless, of course, he happens to run into like a glowing Chansey or gets a couple of supersized catches coming up here. Yeah, I saw another Pikachu spawn for T-Pat because that good old catch chain going on. Goes back for the Caterpie. And Triv, I believe, just caught her Oddish. So she yeah, is... Yes. I believe she just has the one catch left in the forest here. Uh, no, she needs a Weedle, be... looks like. Yes, Weedle. Yes. And T-Pat's just looking for a Bellsprout. Might go for Route 2 Roulette, where you get a higher level Bellsprout. So some more experience. He, he kind of needs that. Um, or maybe he'll find something in the forest that's glowing or something like that. Hope it, hope it gets him there. Yeah, I mean, for, for T-Pat at this point, if he gets a uh, glowing bell sprout in forest or gets oh, the... Oh, okay. Uh, Just going to go for that uh, bell sprout over going there. for that one? Okay. So we'll see what kind of experience points he gets from this. And if, Amber, um, it looks ooh. like, just got a supersized. And also a Frick on the screen, or Bulbasaur, for those not in the know. Uh, frick. We'll see if any of these runners try to go for a glowing rat. Uh, or maybe even you know, a glowing Pidgey outside a forest. Uh, I'm a big fan of that because um, it gives you a little bit more experience. Maybe you get some evolutions out of the way so you can deposit before you actually get too far into Mount Moon. Um, you know, just gives you a little bit more experience. Um, if you hit level 13 with Eevee, I don't think you have to tail whip um, the Onyx, which can save you a little bit of time. Uh, Amber, of course, going for the Bulbasaur for the fans, but also just because it's awesome. A little bit of extra experience, hopefully the catch treats them well. And, and Bulba's actually a, a little bit faster of a level up mon compared to Bellsprout. Um, yes. With Bellsprout, you have five additional levels that you have to grow before it evolves into Weepin' Belt, whereas with Ivy or with Bulba, usually you have that fully evolved by the time you get through Rival 3. Yeah, looks like Amber might actually, based on the tracker, opt to evolve um, just, yeah, just the Ivy Sort, not the Bellsprout. Um, so unmarked Weepin' Bell here, just to, yep. so we'll see that deposit at some point, um, so either before Brock, probably not, or in, in Mount Moon. Yeah, that, uh, getting both bugs fully evolved before that, uh, for Eevee at least, uh, getting both bugs fully evolved before Evelyn is very nice, because you could just mm -hmm. deposit those when you do your lure menu. With Pika, they do a little bit different strat with Mount Moon that we'll, we'll talk about a little bit later on when we get there. Yeah, and Amber will still have the Frick for catches, for the TP catches, so that's fine. Yeah. That's totally serviceable. Now, everyone making their way out of the forest, fighting one trainer, T-Pat, clearly on a Pikachu catch chain for a little bit there. There's three glowing <laughs> Pika walking around that forest, just trying to give him a hard time. Um, T-Pat's just oh. got a, a Pico disco on his screen is all. Triv is going to go for a plain old rat. Um, I respect it. I am a big fan of catching Raticate. Um, if you catch it on Route 10, it's giving you a similar EXP bump to Graveler. Um, so that could be really good for the mid-game section. Or you can even catch it as late as Mansion, so it gives you a little bit of flexibility. I don't I don't mind at all going for a rat here, um, just to give you a little more experience. Especially since she caught an Oddish in Forest, whereas if you caught one outside of Forest on this route, it might be a higher level. But now it's level 9, so hopefully a little bit of a better Brock fight for her. Definitely. And Amber, you can see, is going oh. for that Pika, trying to maximize those experience, or trying to get to level 13, so is that yeah. way she can she can still two-shot that Onyx with the Tail Whip, even with having that minus attack stat. Amber is playing AOP right now, just like Amber getting is playing everything. AOP. <laughs> T 
T-Pat is the first one out of the forest and talking to Rival. So and he's going to be having to do the, the quick select of a Pokemon to satisfy the needs for Brock's gym here, a grass or a water type, which you can't get water types this early into the run unless you trade it in. So we're going to have to, that's why we have to rely on Oddish, Brick, and, uh, and, and Bellsprout here. So is that when you have one of those Pokemon to be able to enter Brock's gym to be able to meet that satisfaction there. I never really understood why there was also a water type because unless you're you're trading with somebody who's been to at least like Cerulean because I think you can catch a duck right outside Cerulean you're not Correct. getting the water requirement. So unless you're playing with your friend who's like yeah here's the Psyduck to fulfill your catch requirement. Why aren't you just catching a bell spread? I don't know. Anyway, it's there. I don't know why they added it, but it's a possibility. Or Magikarp, that's true. You can just Magikarp, you know, um, catch everything and evolve it to a level 20 Gyarados. Um, I don't even think it learns a water type move, but it's a thing you can do. Oh, um, Amber's going to go for that Glowing Pidgey, which is, yep, another call that you can definitely do, and I like it here. Um, still could catch a Pidgeotto on Route 17 to evolve into Pidgeot if they wind up in a sticky catch situation later. Definitely, definitely. And, and again, Amber is trying to maximize that experience points as much as possible to again, negate that that minus attack nature that she is running here. Um, she should be well over or she should be probably level 14 after battling Brock, um, which probably. is a really nice situation to be in. Plus, she has both bugs fully evolved at going into that uh, entering Mount Moon already. Yeah, not going to have to worry about Misty, most likely, because almost level 15 already, which is the requirement to get into Misty's gym. Uh, yeah, she, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Amber does decide to skip uh, skip Moonstone in uh, in this mm. particular run here, but we'll definitely have to see what uh, what she plans to do here. Uh, we'll see. I I was talking. We were talking with Amber beforehand, and they mentioned that they like going for Nido King strats in Eevee. Um, so they might still want the Moonstone to keep that optional open. Uh, so we'll see what they end up going with. Um, Kick and Run Keith, one of the runners in the community, kind of popularized. Um, Pikachu uses Nido King for the mid game. Why doesn't Eevee? Um, so a few of the Eevee runners, including myself, have tried out Nido King in the hideout, and it's not too bad. It, it really comes down to like preference and EXP as to what's better and worse for that section of the run. So very true. Amber may want to switch off of this Eevee, Eevee, Eevee for the mid game just because of the of the timid nature. That very well could doing be. The shop, the first shop of the run, uh, Amber will be joining him shortly, as will Triv. We'll see if their shops look... Um, okay, yeah, so that looks pretty standard opening for just advanced for Eevee, from what I remember. Yep, and Triv is talking to, to Blue, who is the first trainer to give us some some something better than a Pokeball to use. Um, that's why we only buy seven great balls in this uh, this first shop here because we already are given five by blue so now we're going to have 12 to be able to run through the uh run through mount moon and route six with oh you buy seven okay i um oh eight actually going for triv oh, here went for eight uh i think my standard um which is what t-pet does is uh six uh so that's interesting okay. i know that i know that the pika shop is quite a bit different than the eb shop this one in particular i think the rest are relatively similar um i just don't think um pika gets the guard spec yeah, I do. So for my shop, at least, I do the seven seven great balls, ooh. and then I'll do. Ooh, we got snack on. We got a snack. <laughs> we love a good snack. Uh, Teapot, um, a smidge low on catches, at least compared to Amber. So happy to see a snack. Too bad it's not green, but we'll take we'll take a, a purple snack either way. We um. don't need green snacks every time. I'm sure we'll see another green shiny at some point because. Um, Last there round I commentated there were two shinies, and then my I race I found one. I know. <laughs> and then, hey, look, a Sandy. Um, and um, last, uh, my race for round two, I saw a shiny Paris and just didn't catch it because I had one already, and I'm a good speedrunner. Uh, anyway. Yeah. You, just, you just leave them behind in, in this game. You'll see them all the time. You just leave them behind unless you really need it. Yeah. <laughs> Am Amber is uh, just finishing up. Brock may look a little behind, but ahead on catches and trying to catch up um, on EXP as well. So it, this race is still kind of anybody's race, even this early on, it's impossible to tell who's going to win. Um, but we'll, we'll see what happens when it all shakes out. Just uh, if somebody looks really far ahead or really far behind, it doesn't really matter until you hit like what, Blaine, probably. Yeah, Blaine's about kind of the point where the, the runners are all kind of kind of shake out 
and they should all be reaching Blaine and kind of that sea skim area all at about the same time. Again, depending on, on how, how what their early game looks like compared to their late game for, for all the runners here. Yeah. Um, as Triv the second one to go in and grab that uh, that Magikarp, one of the fastest catches in the game, the Magikarp, Lapras, and the Porygon. Um, each one of those only take about 20 seconds to grab, so that's why they're uh, guaranteed, because you just run in, you grab them, and you go. Yeah, T-Pat doing um, the Mount Moon menu now. Um, I think uh, Pika does it after the tr this trainer. Um, and just depositing Pokemon that don't need to evolve, teaching Headbutt to Eevee because it's very good on Eevee. It's a stab move, same type of attack bonus, so it does extra damage. So we use it a lot in this Eevee earlier Go section Burr. of the run. Eevee Go Burr! Uh, and just uh, getting the lure up so we can look for the three Pokemon, well, roughly three, that we're looking for in Mount Moon, Paris, Geodude, and Clefairy, though there is options for many other pink blobs if they show up. Yes. Will we see any of the giant pink blobs on any of the screens? And will we see any of Buddy go for those giant pink blobs as they are a little bit more difficult uh, catch rate for uh, for those those two hmm. two big ones? Yeah, Triv going into the same fight T-Pad is right now using Oddish for it. Um, just a little bit better to take down the Bellsprout than the, um, than the Pikachu would be. Uh, and I think the Oddish will be used uh, on the Sandshrew Trainer, not too far down the path in Mount Moon as well. Yeah, that seems to be the uh, the newer strat of using the using the Oddish up until that Sandshrew. At the Sandshrew is when the when Pika runners will typically do their menu to be able to lure, uh, basically get a little bit later lure, um, and they also then would move Pika back into slot one, move Oddish into slot two, and and go from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and all right, T Pat, first one down to the Moonstone Room pick up the first Moonstone. Um, runners can kind of change their time to see if they can get a second Moonstone when the clock rolls over to midnight. Um, so these runners will change, set their time from anywhere from like 11.30 to 11.37 to see if they can time it right where they can have a chance to get a 50% double Moonstone. Uh, I don't know, T-Bot might be here early depending on when he set his clock, but we'll see. Uh we'll see if he goes for it. T-Pat usually sets his clock for uh, for 34, so he's he's about a minute and a okay. half early. Yeah. With the evolutions from this Clefairy catch, though, um, that'll that'll actually help him for the oh, time. Oh, a big Clefairy! Oh my goodness. Okay, that's good so. then. Um, Amber may miss it depending on how fast she's um, they're able to get down there. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, T-Pat getting both bugs fully evolved, uh, so can deposit those before they ca he catches anything else, just in case something's uh, big, like that Clefairy seems to have been. Yeah, it wasn't a supersized one, but it's it's definitely nice to get Clef the, a big Clefairy as your first catch in there, especially yeah. with T-Pat. I saw his level was level 11, so he was a little on the lower side for experience, experience. points, yeah. so that, that definitely helps him get most of the way there. As long as the okay. excellence, the Geodude, or the Paris, he should be with plenty of experience points to be able to hit 15 from all the upcoming trainers. Uh, for, yeah, uh, you need just fight. a hair over 14 for that to happen. Uh, Trivaria got a Clefairy, kind of unlucky cycle where it jumped to the side, but it's in. Uh, and there's also a Paris spawn on her screen, uh, so that you can go after that afterwards. Um, then you're just looking for a Geodude and going out. Um, I think T-Pat had a Clefairy and a Geodude and would be looking for Paris, I think. Mm -hmm. And Amber is not quite at that room yet, but will be very shortly. Oh, gonna go for that glowing Geodude? Absolutely. That's what you need to see, especially when you Definitely. have minus attack. So Definitely. For, don't worry. At this point, Amber doesn't need to worry about the Clefairy. She just needs to worry about getting the experience points, which the G a glowing Geodude is going to give more experience points than a possibly non-glowing Clefairy would be. Yeah. So With this Geodude, I think it. Amber's leaving at 13, which is like, okay to leave Mount Moon at. Um, so even if nothing else spawned, it's good. Um, Amber will probably want more experience, but, you know, if you had to in a pinch, you could leave now. Not that you necessarily want to, but you could if you had to. You know, the jukes from T-Pat as he tried to dodge those Zubats. Yeah, T-Pat also did a uh, did a second menu to remove the Butterfree and Beedrill Good. and the yeah. Clefairy out of his party. That way he doesn't have to worry about, you know, if he runs into a glowing, uh, a supersized Geodude or Paris, he doesn't have to worry about them, you know, hitting level 13. Uh, for Butterfree in particular, Butterfree learns three moves at level 13. So it's kind of a, a waste of additional time there. And he might be just a tick low on experience points with that excellent throw on the Geodude. He might need to hope for a uh, 
uh, something on Route 4 or hope that Paris shows up. Yeah, and... Um... Amber getting Onyx Ooh, on okay. her screen. Ooh, unfortunate attack cycle for Triv. Um, I don't think Amber should go for the Onyx, but we'll see. Yeah, uh, on lure, Onyx is kind of rough here in Mount Moon. It's definitely easier than, than in Rock Tunnel. Uh, Rock Tunnel Onyx is n uh, never worth it to go for. Um, although she might go for it after the non-excellent throw on the Clefairy there. It looked like uh, she got Joy-Con by mm. T-Pet at the very beginning of the game. Motion control moment. All right, uh, T-Pet's experience is close. Um, I'd say this might do it, but yeah, another catch wouldn't hurt for sure. Uh, oh, Triv getting the Geodude. Uh, oh, yeah, Mark Paris already. So that's that's all for Triv. Paris. Okay, perfect. Then he doesn't have to worry about a thing. Um, looks like all of our runners are at least going to be level 15 leaving Mount Moon. Amber is indeed going to go for the Onyx. I believe in you, Amber. Um, we believe she got the nice. Yes, let's go. Put the funny Pikachu emote in chat, chat. <laughs> Alright, that gets Eevee to level 16. Every little bit of experience helps for Amber right now. Definitely. And T-Pat, I believe, is just shy of level 15 at this point. Perfect. But he shouldn't have any issues uh, here on out. Is doing a second menu to remove the Geodude and the Paris. Uh, again, yep. keeping the bell sprouts for the 2C. Up. Yep, good. Uh, second so. second Pokemon kind of needed for the Jesse and James fights later. Uh, a Paris seeing T-Pat out of the catching section of Mount Moon. We'll see if maybe some other pink blobs will want to show up. Wow, Triv got a Paris party on her screen. Amber getting the 1% Onyx to show up on her screen now. Well, she's on an Onyx catch chain, so... This is true. Just like T-Pat's on a Paris, on a Paris catch, catch chain. chain. He's, got, he's got a Paris party going on. <laughs> Uh, Onyx party, not great for Amber, because that's some roadblocks. Uh, a little unfortunate, but hopefully gets out of Mount Moon without too many troubles. So, and Amber is still uh, on her lure as well, so that is going to increase the probability of things spawning, as the lures will oh. increase the odds. That was a oh, okay. So T Pat um, missed the range on the drowsy and got confused, but it didn't matter. Uh, did did not get hurt self in confusion, which is good. But I forgot that it was a range at level fourteen. It is a range at level fourteen with zero AV, so that's okay. that's not that does not look well for T Pat. Does not bode here. well for T Pat. He also got uh, ambushed uh. by a Paris. Uh, you hate to see it though. At the moment, he's probably like. A smidge ahead. Just a smidge. Yeah, that, that bottom corridor, everybody's run into something there, whether it's a Zubat, oh, sure. a Paris, a Clefairy, or Geodude, even Clefable. I've got I've hit Clefable in that uh, that corridor down there. This game just loves to spawn things on you when you least expect it. Yeah, gotta, gotta love those toe spawns. Always. Always. Ooh, okay. There was a Hypnosis attacking Triv, but it missed, uh, so that's good. Amber also opting to do a uh, menu to deposit her party. Uh, that way, again, she doesn't get any unneeded uh, experience points. The Ionic uh, Sketch Chain. Really hope for a, like a, a Chansey to spawn to uh, remove the Catch Chain. Maybe a Clefable. You know, what what can we ask for? T Pat is now on to one oh, of the, the uh, one of the more difficult fights here. For, yeah, at uh, level, um, level, level, oh no, at level 15, this is a guaranteed range, but uh, T-Pad is not quite level 15, uh, so missed the Voltorb range, but didn't get paralyzed, uh, so that's fine, made it out okay. Yes. Now hitting level 15, the Magnemite should be a double kick guaranteed um, to kill. It's Lots a of 13, speed it's a 13 out of 14. 13 out of, 13 out of 16? Or 13, 13 out of 16. Uh, yeah. Uh, at level 15 with this attack stat. Okay, perfect. So Got the range. Get the range there. 
uh, what we mean by ranges is that instead of doing a fixed amount of damage per attack, um, the the calculator that's in Pokemon rolls a number between 85% damage and 100% damage. Um, so you've got a range of numbers from 1 to 16 that can either all be different values or like several of them will be the same low value, some of them will be the same higher value. You usually get a low roll and a high roll and you know a few rolls in between. Um, when we say range, um, 11 of those 16 rolls may kill if it's 11 if it's an 11 and 16 range. Um, so ranges are the bane of speedrunners because it means you lose turns. Um, but the more AVs of the higher levels you get, you tend to eliminate those ranges. Yeah, correct. And I'm curious to see if T-Pat is going to try for the 4 and 16 range on the uh, the coughing here. Nope, he's going right for the Ekans. Just take that out. Um, that way it's, you know, it's over, it's done with. He doesn't have to worry about that. And then he can just mm. clean up the coughing on the next turn with uh, acid Ooh. from the Bell Sprout for the second I know, um, I know um, level 15 EV and level 14 Bell Sprout, um, the headbutt acid is completely guaranteed. I don't know if it's a, oh, it's fine. We're fine. Um, for, we're fine hitting it there for this case as well. Um, and then he's just going to get the level up in battle. Not optimal, but at least he's level 14. We're getting closer and closer to evolving that Bell Sprout. Nice HP AV. T Pat Damn. did get Snek already, so he doesn't have to worry about checking the grass coming up here. He can just kind of mm. just go right through it. Um, he may be uh, hitting for level 17. Crap. Well, we'll see what's in the grass. Yeah, T-Pat may opt to go for a rat at this point. That way, you know, he's he's able to get Raticate later on for the more experience points versus, you know, having to, to oh. go for opt for rat. Nope. Skipping the nope. grass, dodging the dodging rat. It. Doesn't need the great balls. Just moving on through to Cerulean, where we're teaching the broken moves, uh, because this is an Eevee speedrun. Uh, so there are moves throughout the game for each of the different evolutions that Eevee can evolve into. Um, it, at Cerulean, you get three. You get Buzzy Buzz for Jolteon, Bouncy Bubble for Vaporeon, and Sizzly Slide for Flareon. Um, they're all busted as heck, uh, and they make this part of the game pretty smooth sailing for Eevee. Um, Pikachu only gets Zippy Zap, which is also a very good move. I think it's plus two priority and always critical hits, um, which is pretty busted, um, but you know, Eevee's kind of got a little bit more type coverage. Uh, which is pretty broken. And uh, they all do special things. Buzzy Buzz paralyzes every time, Sizzly Slide burns every time, and Bouncy Bubble is like, absorb. You gain health back for how much damage you do. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty busted. Yeah, we also learn an additional move later on called Glitzy Glow uh, for Eevee that is going to be a psychic type move for Espeon that is also going to set up a light screen that we're going to take advantage of uh, take advantage of that move here uh, later on in, in Rocket Hideout. Yeah, sadly we do not learn the Umbreon move uh, Baddie Bad. That's, um, yes, that's the name of the move. We're opting for the early Spiro here it looks like. Okay, I probably ran into it and then just said, you know what, you're here, get in the ball. Uh, it looked like she, she it looked like she purposely ran into it. I could be mistaken, oh, okay. but... Okay, well, still, early Spiro, not too bad. Um, that just means, yeah, Triv is already unmarked Firo as a result. Um, got the Sandy. Oh no, what will we do? Um, yeah, looks like uh, Triv got the Sandy. Um, so doesn't mind trading Firo for Sandy as far as catch count goes. Maybe just wants a little early experience, which makes a lot of sense. Amber, Amber now teaching the broken moves. I haven't seen if Amber's gotten any um, special attack AVs. We can see maybe on this menu here. 33, 32, 45. Okay, uh, so got a couple special attack AVs. But I don't think that's enough to guarantee the Goldeen, I don't think. Um, at level she's level seventeen. Oh, at level us. seventeen, yeah. She should might. be it should be a guarantee at level seventeen. At level that seventeen special attack. Yes. Um, it might be it might be like a fourteen out of sixteen range or fifteen out of sixteen range. Uh, at lower levels. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately Razor is not with us here uh this this morning. Um he uh it looks like he 
he might have slept in or we're not sure what what happened here but uh when he uh when he joins us we'll be more than happy to to have him join us here in the booth but yeah if he does uh, wake up he's welcome to come in and hang out but uh <laughs> we we were waiting for him and the call and went well we should just go live oh, it was up until 1 a.m his time last night uh yeah that oh uh, yeah happen. that that would do it that would do it um and T-Pat is through Misty. It looks like he might have had a little bit of a scary Misty there. He, he's a little low on health. Yee. So we'll see if he uh, see if he does a heal menu here before going into the rival two fight. Now you said naive is minus special defense, right? So that makes sense. Minus Correct. special defense. This yes. is one of the fights that's a little bit scarier. Yeah, this one this one can be a little scarier, especially if you get uh, get crit burned by the Starmy when it uses Scald. Um, that is. That would be very scary. I'm glad that we is, said that. That is typically that I'm is glad typically we said that kiss, after. kiss of death. <laughs> I'm glad we said that after T Pat went through, and hopefully we didn't curse anybody else. Uh, I don't know Pika, so I don't know if Triv has a, a range on this um, star or not. But I don't hopefully know the everything ranges. goes well here. I know for for Pika, you use an X attack and then you use Zippy Zap, and yep. you know. I know there's a chance that Starmie can kill you, because the couple of times I've attempted to run Pika, I've died to Misty from not hitting the range, so... Mm, I love um, dying to Misty. So much fun. Teapot, the first to the uh, rival 2 fight on the bridge here. Um, thankfully, nobody had to do the Walk of Shame, which is when you do Nugget Bridge before you do Misty. Everyone was a high enough level. Uh, which is really good to see. In a race like this, you kind of just want everything to go as well as possible. So it's all fair, and it just kind of comes down to who plays better. Wow. That... And it's about a 30-second time loss to have to do the walk of shame early as well. Yeah, just to, to the extra movement you'll have to do. Triv, through, Triv is through Misty. About the all same of time our as Amber. runners are thankfully through Misty. And now... Now we're get to do the next fun section of the run, Nugget Bridge. Um, a little bit easier for the Eevee than it is for Pika. Eevee has has its broken moves, obviously, so it can just, you know, you would use whatever super effective or headbutt for the first two trainers. With the uh, with Pika, it has a little bit more difficulty for a couple of the trainers here. Yep, we'll have to see how everything goes. Uh, these runners are all really high level. Uh, in terms of how well they're able to play. So it just, this section of the run is just kind of like, uh, yeah, how is chat doing today? Because, yeah, nothing super crazy is going to happen here. Um, EB is going to kind of steamroll this section. I think Tri uh, Triv will have to two controller the, um, the Sandshrew person. Um, otherwise, it's not too hard in this section either. Oh, we were just saying that Razor overslept, but I think he may have just joined us. Mm. Yeah, I, I overslept. Hi, Speaking Razor. the devil and he shows up. <laughs> no worries, you're here now. How are you doing? Uh, tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can give you a quick a quick, a quick recap of what's happened so far. Uh, so t has a naive EV. Um, Trevaria has a neutral that, that she loaded from a backup. And uh, Amber is running a timid EV. Uh, so a little little sweaty for that one. Um, right. nothing, nothing crazy so far as far as catches go, but um, there is a frick, there is a frick in Amber's possession, so that's cool. Amber Amber does have a very high catch count for this uh, this early in the run as well, yep. uh, coming into Nugget Bridge at 16. Plus, there's two additional encounters that uh, that she could be getting up here at the top of this route with uh, Venonat or, or Meowth or the ever elusive Squirtle, which you know. I feel is a terrible idea to go for unless you're desperate for catches at this point. It's a bad idea. Um, if we see one, yeah. it just means you, the run is blessed. We'll call it there. And let's see if T Pat gets a fake out as he's the first one to alley here. And he does get the flinch. Does get the fake out, which is a little bit of time loss, but it happens so often that you're just like, well, it's Sizzly Slide. We'll just hit the button again. It's fine. All right. Um, as we come up, we're, we're looking for at the top of the route. We're going to be looking for some catches. We're also going to be seeing if any of the runners go for the the knock skip, which I will never do because I think it's like two seconds. But it's a it's like doing several trainer skips in a row all at once. 
um, that saves you two seconds on the movement up here. It's really I hard did. to do. I went into a tirade on this on my, uh, yesterday, so... <laughs> you did. Uh, you, you all know my opinion on this. I don't think it's worth it to try and do Nox Skip for two seconds of save time. I'll uh, I'll just wait for the, the spinner there and be 100% safe 100% of the time. I was watching, I think it was Echi doing it on a run somewhere. Maybe it was even the first race in the tournament. And I was like, what was that? And I think it was T-Bat that said, that's Nox Skip. Don't do Nox Skip. And I'm like, okay, I won't do Nox Skip. <laughs> So, and Nox Skip, yeah. of course, is named after our good friend Nox, uh, Nox Connery, who is, uh, he's been a little absent from the uh, the PSR scene for a little while. I know life has kind of caught up with him a little bit, so, um, but, uh, but yeah, he, uh, he's the first, he's the one that, that did it the first time, and it's, it's kind of grown from there. It's rather tight, Skip. Yeah. It's um, pointed out in the chat that two seconds could be the difference between sub three. I mean, if you're confident with it, go for it, yeah. But as far as the race goes, all it takes is one wrong. Like, it, all it takes is your Joy-Con drifting, and you've hit another trainer. So, kind of risky to do in a race setting, but we'll see. It is. <laughs> if any of these runners want to go for it. I deal, I deal with sp thumb spasms enough trying to run this game. Yeah. I, I don't need to add in tricky movement That's like that. That's a duck for T-Pat that he's... Well, it's running towards him. No, he doesn't go for oh, it. That makes perfect oh. sense. He risked, he risked the spinner and he got burned. Oof. Well, wow. I'm going to refresh my feed because I'm behind. That is uh, that is rough. Um, I've I've used to try and just YOLO it before. I've gotten burned with it. Fortunately, this trainer just has a Diglett, which is notoriously... It's got good speed, but it doesn't have anything for defenses, so the Eevee can just, you know, quick take care of it. But that is uh that is a rough rough optional hit and a uh, otherwise clean run so far for t-pat yeah well hopefully um hopefully it's the only optional that we'll see from t-pat um there's still a chance for you know the other racers to maybe match that one out one optional each but um mm -hmm. as 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 Greta says in chat thank you for making the race closer to keep up our ratings um because yeah the the closer this race the tenser it becomes every time so well and all these trainers have the the next tough trainer skip coming up here on the next route uh heading into vermilion uh where basically there's two trainers facing each other and you have a small gap that you need to walk through without uh to not battle either one of them yep uh it's it's tough for every runner uh, i've seen every runner no matter what level they are fail it at some point just you know all it takes is one wrong set up and then it's over uh so it just happens sometimes that you're gonna it hit does. the landscape. Doesn't matter how good. Oh, a uh, new amber Ripper's is going, going for the meowth. I don't blame them. Like I really no. don't blame them on that one. Every bit of experience will count in this run. It Triv does. Opting, Triv opting not to go for the minute. though already. That's for yeah. Well, yes. timid though. Like um, right before the race, uh, we were talking with the runners, and all of them said, man, I don't want to deal with minus attack. Amber is dealing with minus attack, so every little bit of experience absolutely helps here. Yeah, although I will say I am surprised that Amber did go for the Meowth with it running the opposite direction there. Um, with a race that's going to be this tight, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't have been surprised to just see her, you know, just kind of wave at it as she ran by. Uh, again, with it running the opposite direction of where you want it to be running when you go mm -hmm. for it. Who knows, maybe Amber saw that T-Pad had the optional and went, well, I can afford a couple seconds to run after this Meowth. Just to try and catch up on experience, because uh, unless Amber gets a Route 6 Chansey, um, things might be ranges where we're not used to seeing ranges. Yeah. I mean, t still does have a little bit of a lead, but four poke difference. Yeah. That, that will make up. That adds up quick. For sure, yeah. Like, honestly, even at this point, any of these runners could win this race, and I would not be surprised. Um, oh, it just, definitely. Same. It, yeah, this is such a high-level race, and Let's Go is such a variable game. If somebody has a bad catching section, or if somebody hits another optional, or an optional, or just has a bad fight, because there's a couple fights that can just go wrong no matter what you do, mm -hmm. that this game could go any way at all. Oh, definitely, and and we have now T Pat uh, coming into uh, Detective Evie while uh, Amber and Triv are rescuing Bill. Let's see if either anybody does a ditch Bill today. 
Yeah, um, Detective Evie, uh, which we decided last time needed to be uh, starring Danny DeVito, which I think would be pretty yes. funny. Yeah, no, yes. thinking about it now would be pretty funny. Uh, nobody ditched Bill. That's good. Um, Bill is a Nidoran, ne sorry, a Nidorino, which you know, in his matches his shirt color, so maybe that's why, but whatever. He pat the first one out of Cerulean. Let's see if he picks up the Nanao Berries. Bill, though, Bill's the best category. <laughs> Thank you, This Razor. bill is a fun category. It is a fun category to do. Yeah, T-Pat now coming up on the cutscene where the rival continues to be a real awkward guy uh, and says, Hey, girl three, uh, there's a revive in your hair. I don't know how it got there, but here you should have it. I don't know why that happens, but sure. Might have, might have fallen, fallen from the ceiling in Mount Moon, possibly. I guess, and it hit us on the head and we didn't even notice, somehow. No Squirtle for Amber. Run isn't blessed. That's okay. Oh, we got no Detective Pikachu. Perfect. Yep. This one's starring Ryan Reynolds. Um, the girl Pikachu, so he's got a really impressive range, but that's okay. We got, uh, we got everybody exiting Cerulean or entering the underground here. Um, the next catch section, uh, especially for Eevee, is important to hit level 18, uh, just so that way you can make sure you're hitting the ranges on the uh, uh, Rival 4 fight. Uh, Amber, she might want to have, you know, be closer to 19 or 20, again, just to be able to guarantee those ranges on the, uh, the, the uh, Pikachu with the X yep. attack there. We want to see glow and pokes for basically everybody at this point. Um, that just makes it more interesting and gives everybody more experience to work with. Uh, at this point of the run, you kind of want all the experience you can get. It become the, the amount of experience that you want kind of drops off depending where you are in the game. But right now, in the section where we're using our starters, um, levels will start to drop because we're trying to go fast and we sacrifice extra catches for going very fast. Teapot picking up a rare candy. We'll use that much later in the run, but it is important to catch. Ooh, look, a puff. A glowing puff, as it is. A glowing puff. I did notice that T-Pat used the lure a little bit earlier than, than I typically use the lure in the underground there. Um, my guess is he's trying to guarantee that the lure is going to be burned off before he gets to the uh, gets to the, the, the skip. Uh, shop yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was going to say the skip, because yesterday I was watching Triv do a run, and the skip ran out a step before she went between the trainers. Oh. And that was horrifying. Um, there's a collage in the um, in the Let's Go Tourney speed uh, speedrun Discord. If you go into memes, uh, it's a beautiful collage that demonstrates that moment and the panic that we all had live. I, I, that that was a uh, that was an entertaining collage to oh. see. Oh, the uh, the Vulpix walking in Come front here, of Vulpix. the gentleman. Thank you. Uh. At least T-Pad had the wherewithal to go around the gentleman. Um, cause I've definitely lost, I was trying to do a run and just completely lost it to me going, oh, look, a Vulpix, and then running right into the gentleman and being like, you know what, I'm done for today. <laughs> I've, I've done that with a Ghastly before in, uh, in Tower, yeah. just, uh, you know, oh, you just get those one. blinders on and go. <laughs> okay, so T-Pat got... That's, that's just a let's go experience when you just for sure. immediately go for something, you're like, oh, duh, hello. Oh, right, yeah. there's trainers. It's not just a game about catching. Triv sees a Jigglypuff. Ooh, and an Abra? Okay. Ooh. Then to say, you okay, want that's puppy. really good. You want a puppy, but an early Abra, and I think this one's glowing, is also pretty good. Um, yeah, you want to try and catch glowing. enough to evolve it, but you still want a and, puppy. But And Triv got very lucky that Abra was facing the correct direction. Abra is one of, the, uh, one of those spawns that will despawn as soon as it sees mm -hmm. you, um, where, you know, if it's facing the if it's facing the wrong direction and you come walking out of the door, uh, it sees you and it's gone before you even have before you even have mm -hmm. a chance to react that it's you know to try and get it. T Pat very successfully doing um, Vermilion skip down. We'll have to do it back up, but I'm sure it'll be just as successful. And um, we see Amber catching a Jigglypuff even before they go and grab the candy. Uh, so very instant puff from Amber. Hopefully, can also see a Vulpix to pad that experience. Maybe. Maybe a rat if really desperate. Oh, there's a Vulpix. Oh, oh my man. gosh. They love walking in front of the trainers. They really do. I missed what Triv just caught. Was it a puff? Yeah, it's uh, yes. a puff. Okay. 
Yes, and Triv and T-Pat, I saw both of them got it, you know, right away before the Jigglypuff can move. So um, that is something that, especially with the Jigglypuff on this route, you want to throw that ball as fast as possible, just so as that way you can delay on the Puff jump cycle, because that takes a solid three to four seconds mm, waiting puppy, for the Puff to puppy. come back down. There is the pupper. Okay, perfect she then. She needed to see that. Yep, she needed, like you could see, as soon as it spawned, she ran right back up the route, because you really need that puppy in Pika. To be fair, yeah. she also had Abra. Which oh, we got a giant pink good. blob. Oh, pink nope. blob on Amber Amber's says screen, no. and she's not going Amber for it. Amber says no. It's not glowing. Don't need it. was a bit too far back anyway. Yeah, I think if it was closer, maybe. But considering maybe. how far back on the route that was, that's not now is not the time. Also selling the helix, which okay. on Amber's catch count, I don't. Think. No, not at all. I think I selling the helix makes sold sense. The helix as well. Teapot, um, is it sixteen, which is like slightly lower than I think I usually am. Um. But I think he's still in pretty good shape uh, as I far as patches go. I think I ended up with like 17 or 18 exiting, but I still had 40 by the end of tower. Yeah. Um, I, so so what, what T-Pad is doing is like, what I'll usually do is I'll catch like Pidgey on that route and mm -hmm. then kind of opt to evolve it into Pidgeot, but skip Pidgeot. T-Pad is keeping the option open to go all the way to Pidgeot if he wants to. Um, so you can also catch a rat there too. Um, we were talking earlier about how Raticate's just really good to catch for experience, and Triv will probably be looking to do that at some point. So T Pat could have caught a rat. The, Triv just tried to use the back door for the sh the, the Pokemart here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> everyone's a little bit nervous because this race is a, a whole this, thing. This is a very very close race. I will say, oh, yeah. watching Triv do the uh, the the route skip six trainer skip, I uh, I just about had a heart attack with how she <laughs> took that. <laughs> Um, I think at least T-Pat, if not the other runners, were practicing Route 6 skip right before this run, just to let everybody know. This is something I do too. Whenever I do a run, I'm like, okay, I'm going to load up and I'm going to practice Route 6 skip because I feel like it's consistent until it isn't, right? All it takes is one little mm -hmm. move of your controller to be like, okay, I, I missed it up. Goodbye. Yeah, right. like I said, I've I have thumb spasms enough as I'm uh, during oh, yeah. my runs that uh, mm -hmm. I've I've you know had perfect lineup, perfect walkthrough, and then last second just you know spasm go into one of the mm -hmm. trainers and. T Pat is the first through uh, boat rival, um, and then he's going to not ditch boat. He's going to go and talk to the captain and get uh, Cutty Cut, uh, one of the first of I think it's, gosh, four TMs that we get in the speed run. By TMs, I mean HMs, uh, yes, <laughs> which we, we don't get the uh, we don't get the the uh, what is it flashy flash for the uh, we don't get flashy flash or or lighty light or whatever whatever what it's it, called whatever it's called but I don't even have know QT names and I can't remember half of them right <laughs> yeah by HMs I do mean secret techniques because um they realized that having to have a Pokemon dedicated to getting you through the game like for cut for strength and for surf um, was not fun. So they kind of were like, well, let's just let Eevee do everything. So this Eevee knows Kung Fu. And yes, it is light up. It is light up. Um, so they're all called uh, chop, Choppy Chop or Cutty Cut, uh, Pushy Push, Surfy Surf, and Balloon Fight. <laughs> I love it. Oh, running the Kadabra. Okay. Kadabra strats, um, I heard are good um, for at least this fight, if not... Um, a couple on what is it route nine route nine Doesn't heading surprise into route me because yes. kadabra does have a much higher special attack than growlithe yeah um apparently it's just good um even if you get a growlithe but the growlithe will appear in the run later um so well it's not just a bonus catch it actually will have a use for pikachu later t-pat absolutely nailing route six skip both up and down um so m maybe hit the one optional but must be feeling good about at least getting route six skip both ways yeah, and now comes the uh, the big catching segment of this run here on these uh, really these next two splits, um, the uh, Rock Tunnel split and Route Ten split, uh, where 
basically we're going to be filling out the decks as much as possible here over the next uh really the next hour of of gameplay from here to uh to the end of rocket hq yeah and um, there's really only three catching sections three big ones i would say yeah yeah all right so um in eevee you do a menu um before this picnic or alicia here you don't want to do it close to this cut tree because your man your menu will lag like crazy i did it one day just to see how bad it was and it was bad uh, so t-pat is going to oh evolve jigglypuff because he doesn't do king strats he's going to deposit extra pokemon probably leaving himself the bell sprout to evolve um that way he's got something to do two c catches mm -hmm. with and he'll have something if he needs to two c anything though it's probably not really a problem for his experience for his nature uh and then we're just going to Use a lore here in Eevee, so it run it's um it's a little longer than it is in Pika, but you get to keep it up kinda all the way through Rock Tunnel at this point. Yeah, so we're gonna use the lure here. Let's see if he does the he does not do the medicine bag as well, so his HP must be good enough. Um, typically, uh, you can actually do the Super Potion swap in this menu as well uh, if your Pika or if your Eevee does have low HP coming into the uh, Alicia fight. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to do a guard spec, an X attack, a Sizzly slide, and a headbutt. Uh, so it's a long fight, but I believe that Pika too sees this fight, so it kind of uh, yes. kind of kind of evens Pika out. Does. Although you very quickly found why we set up the guard spec on that fight, because mm -hmm. the Eevee went for sand attack. Yep, it can also, it also go for growl. Has growl and tail whip. Yeah, so this Eevee can just kind of troll if you're not using a guard spec, so you just do it. It's yes. easier, it's better for almost every Eevee. You can go into this uh, 2C with uh, go into this with a 2C with Eevee if you do have a plus attack nature. Typically, um, as uh, at level 20 with a 50, I believe a 51 attack stat is a guaranteed uh, OCO for headbutt there. So um, mm. that that does that is an option available for you if uh, if you do happen to know what kind of a attack stat you have at uh, level 20. Trevalaria also getting a very successful Route 6 skip. Um, I didn't see Amber, but I think that's all three runners through that part, so yeah. hooray. Yep. That's the probably the hardest skip in the run, um, depending on how you feel about Alexa, um, which is coming up much later. Um, so nothing crazy to worry about as long as their movement's pretty good until much, much later in the run. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm never worried about Alexa. I never hit her. Minus attack yeah, is never. a one-shot. <laughs> yeah, Amber's been doing a really good job about making sure their experience is high enough to kind of compensate, which is awesome. Uh, I know they said earlier, it's like, I'm going to YOLO, but I don't want minus attack, so I feel bad. <laughs> and it is indeed a nature. It sure is. He did not get the uh, the two shot on the Raticate here, which is Ooh. very hard to do. Um, this Raticate does have, uh, uh, is quite beefy, uh, for lack of a better phrase. I don't so think T-Pat uh, has very good AVs. I think his AVs might be speed heavy. He, he's, he's a very fast AV. Yeah. Why does that sound familiar? I, yeah. <laughs> the speed I fast. think I finished at 78 speed at 31. Oh my gosh. All right, T-Pat waiting for the spinner. Absolutely respect it. And immediately just going for that Spearow. Uh, yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. I'm the kind of person that wants to wait for all four things to spawn in this grass before I catch anything. Um, just, just because I don't want to get screwed over by a catch chain, um, which I've seen happen in this tournament. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully that doesn't happen to T-Bat. Fingers crossed. Touch wood. You know all the all the superstitious things you want to do, um, and we hope that he sees lots of spawns that he can catch to make sure his catch count goes from what is now 18 to like 24, depending on how many things glow. Ideally 23 to 24, yeah, he does get the Ooh. Krabby, which is the uh, quote-unquote rarer spawn on this route at a 10% chance of spawning. Uh, so he Amber does get did that. get the two-shot, but it was dicey. I didn't think that was going to happen. Amber won't go in for the Buzzy Buzz Fryer, though, which is smart. 
Yeah. That way you always outspeed the next two turns. And I believe it paid off because there was a turn of yes. hacks. Amber so. is getting rewarded big oh, time. Oh, the glowing rat. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Glowing Don't do it. Glowing bonjour. No. Route glowing bonjour for Amber. Route 10 chance he is bad. <laughs> it's not good. Don't do it. For Yuri, do it. No, a, don't do it. This is a terrible idea, and I really hope to see it. What was that motion oh, control Oh, she moment? is getting How motion control. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. my God. Oh, my no. God. No. <laughs> Ow. My, my spleen. I, I had this in one of my races. No. Oh, Amber's no. gonna grab those great balls. I can bet. Motion controls are very much. A problem. I I don't think she goes for the pink blob now after getting motion controlled no. that hard. No, and I I think Amber's gonna pick up those three extra great balls and then just like pray they <laughs> don't run out. Probably. She might have to grab the extra ones by uh, or might have to grab them from the uh, NPC when she gets back to Lavender as well, depending on what Maybe. her ball count is. We'll have to see what her catch count looks like. I don't know what's gonna... That's the eradicate. Okay, well, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. I, they don't have a wrap, but they can always find one later if their catch count needs it. But right now, Amber has 54 planned. Uh, so we're not sweating yet, but we might sweat soon. I you might want to respawn the route, because I just realized that uh, Amber would prefer to go for King Strats, especially with a minus attack EV, probably. Mm -hmm. um, so might want to wait a little bit to see if a Nidoran male will spawn. We'll have to see. T-Pat, meanwhile, is just kind of catching stuff. Looks like Triv is also just catching stuff. Uh, also getting a little bit um, ratioed by attacks, but such as Let's Go. Yes. Not no, no, bonjour. Point. Bonjour, go away. We don't want you. Oh, look, thrash strats. Hey, okay. The... Okay, I'm bird. Zero. But, uh, this might be this might be a lure, a, 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 a repel lure, or maybe a go back after um, the upcoming cutscene. Maybe. I'm curious, I'm curious if she's going to go for just go for the, the glowing Nidorino and go for thrash strats. That's possible, cause the, or the glowing might fix the experience enough if it's a, it's a, if it's a wombo. That might yeah. be enough to make it where you just start going for ED strats instead. It'll depend, though. Like, we'll have to see what ends up happening here. Yeah, because her being level 24 before even doing the rocket fight is really huge. And with these two, if she gets both of these catches yeah, the here, that should put her well over, uh, um, well over 26, depending on the size of that Nidorino uh, entering Rock Tunnel, which... I think fixes her her minus attack issues right there pretty much. Kick and run Keith, who is the um the player that kind of pioneered DB King Strats is saying catch Nidorino and then Chansey and then use Poison Chap. So <laughs> there's an idea. It's an idea, but it's a bad idea. No, it's not I wouldn't say it's good, but who am I to judge? She there's a rat there's a rat jam on, on Triv's screen. Uh Amber is running low on uh, on Great Balls, though. I did see that she's down to 13 with the entire uh, rock tunnel section. Okay, I think well. she is looking for that Nido, so she's gonna reload her lure. Yeah. Um, and there might be a, a there might be a world where Amber actually um, excuse me, goes for um, Pokeballs on a couple things, uh, just because they're running low. Not the rat, though. Just Hopefully just went for it on the rat. Oh, and uh, we see a certain red-haired person on t screen at the moment. Ice mommy. I called her on the telephone and she said to be there by 8, so we're really early. We'll see her again in about, uh, about two hours. Mm -hmm. Not even. <laughs> yeah, set a timer. Um... Uh, and Amber is having to it's resort to, to the, the Nidorino. Nidorino. It's gonna have to, yep. We're doing either thrash strats or just hoping this EV gets enough experience. Um, oh, depositing the rat. Oh, Amber did catch Eradicate, yep. so that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. As I just peruse the count, the trackers, make sure I'm not telling lies. T-Pat through Eradicate. 
through that Raticate fight with no issues at all. I believe he has everything he needs, so he's just going to be going from here. With 24 pokes at a, uh, with a 106 time at, at 24 oh, okay. pokes and a solid, solid enter rock tunnel time. And it looks like T-Pat's also going to pick up these great balls. Um, and if any of these runners went for them, I wouldn't blame them. Um, T-Pat's like... I wouldn't either. And in Amber's position, she almost needs it. Oh my god, the, 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 <laughs> the that, onyx that is, gates. That is a lot of, that is a lot of rock, rock snakes. <laughs> Literally gated going into rock tunnel by two onyxes, just like walking under the onyx arch. Being like, hello, I am in rock tunnel. We see rock snakes, we got rocks. But he did go back for the glowing cube on there, which uh, I think is a good call there. Yep, for sure. Now, um, right before this race, I said all racers need um, a good star, a Rhyhorn, and a Ponyta. So we must summon three Rhyhorns, one for each player. 1D spawn, let's go. Oh, and there's another one right, right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh my and there's God. a Graveler. Maybe go for that Graveler it, after this It fight. didn't despawn T-Pat, it just teleported behind the other one. <laughs> Could that be because of 2P? I don't think so. 2P can stun them, though, um, which was a little bit of tech I did during my race. Uh, what, what actually happened was I saw the Golbat and I went, please do not come anywhere near me. Um, but it also worked out that I ended up stun locking an Onyx that was hopefully not going to get any closer to me than it already was. I will say that was an interesting little bit of uh, uh, uh attacking there that t-pat did on that slow poke usually you just you know attack it double buzzy buzz he did opted for the headbutt uh on the first turn there which uh wasn't necessarily a bad thing because it reduces the chance of any status lag or removes the chance of any status lag and you um in between you still turns. you still get the 30 percent um flinch chance as well um so yeah. not a bad strat at all actually uh getting yeah. the graveler for t-pat as well amber is just finishing up the radicate fight and triv just did and is also grabbing the extra great balls let's just have good catches everybody let's just yes, let's, let's just have a good race and triv has uh looks like machop and it looks like uh, was, that was that a glowing a zubat on the side oh a zubat side okay there? was it zubat or cubone i couldn't see it, what it was, was low to the ground so i wasn't sure but let's oh, find nope, out that is cubone okay your feet is a little ahead of mine but i refresh and i'm still behind so we're gonna leave it <laughs> like that Amber getting her Nido King set up into uh, uh, getting evolved here and probably set will, up into slot two. Will they teach the... it thrash? Did not teach thrash. No. Okay. Okay. So that tells me that um, as much as it would have been fun to do Nido King strats, we're probably just going to hope this EV gets all the experience and yep. do that instead. Yep. Which, Which is, is, 26 is not a bad bet. Oh, and a Rhyhorn for Triv. You love to see it. So that's one of three. Let's get two more. Uh, one for each of the remaining two runners that needs one. Um, that's what we want to see. Uh, we don't want to have anybody yes. not have one because I, I had to wait for one for my race and I hated it. Um, so let's just not... Oh, didn't even get it. Etiquette had to like... Etiquette was going to DNF and then ran into a Rhyhorn. Um, and that just feels bad. Was, and, but but that... I understand where he was coming from 100%. So with with how that race went, one hundred percent, I understand Absolutely. why he uh, mm -hmm. yeah. why he was debating that. No, and I zero blame because sometimes that just happens. This is let's go. This is like this is the closest mm -hmm. you can get to having a randomizer begin an actual speed run. I think um, without knowing too many other games, at least for an RPG, I'd say that's the case. Um, and sometimes the rando just decides to say, "No, you're not having a run today. Just go to sleep." This and PLA would be the two True. closest yeah. thing. So, and I do, I do find it actually kind of, uh, kind of interesting that every spawn in Rock Tunnel is a ten percent chance of spawn, with the exception of two Cubone, which uh, I believe all three of our runners have Cubone already, which is a nine percent spawn, and then everybody's favorite Pokemon for AOP runs, Kangaskhan, which is the one percent spawn. Um, and then you've got, of course, Rare Char, oh. which is that 0.5% uh, chance. We should have done a prediction. Oops. Oh, well. That, we'll see if we can see a Kanga or a Rare Chan. That is not just the Kanga that's on T-Bat screen. Um, a wild one. Yes. Um, it looks like Amber doesn't yet have a Cubone, um, but w there's plenty of time. Uh, there's Machop there. 
which getting those getting those multi-level pokes caught before getting a graveler uh, is is really super big good for, for these yeah. runners. Especially since all three runners now have Raticate, there is an option to catch Raticate as late as Mansion um, to help you with your catches and oh, your evolutions. Oh, got Rare Char. Ooh, blessed. Oh, going for it. Going for it. I was, I was it. wondering what he was looking for because he, because uh, <laughs> all of a sudden he just did an about face and just started looking around. Yup. Uh, I've got it muted for obvious reasons, um, but he, maybe, yes. maybe he heard the Charmander noise um, and just went, oh. We're doing that yeah I, I guarantee you he heard oh. it and he's like yep. nope i'm going for this fury is just joker is out, riding a kanga yeah i was just gonna say so if anyone can multi-twitch with their internet um ps pokemon speedruns tv this channel and pokemon speedruns tv 2 there's two races happening at almost the exact same time and apparently joker is riding a kanga which is really all i could have asked for um <laughs> for anything yesterday we saw dodrio and and today that we're seeing like Kanga. Yeah. Um, in my casual play, I actually have a ride on that I ride. I know it's not faster and it's probably slower, but I just like it. I mean, I have a shiny uh, Snorlax that I rode on for a uh, oh yeah for a brief period during an AOP run. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's one of my that's my favorite that ride poke. Too, I think. Matt. Come on. <laughs> My, it's my favorite ride poke, probably, just because you hang on to Storlax's belly as he just waddles around. <laughs> it's so good. I just saw T-Pat unmark Zubat. Might just be looking to get out of here as soon as possible. Unmarked Rhyhorn, too. That might not have been correct. Uh, he has not had one spawn yet, so... That... Well, there's still a little bit of time, but it looks like he's planning to just get out of dodge. Yeah, he might not be banking on it at this point, um, which... At this point, uh, you're going to start seeing a lot of the runners are basically starting to decide what they're going to try and go for, what they're not going to try and go for, what you know, what options they have available yep. uh, through the end of this run here. So yeah, leaving Rock Tunnel is where you start to feel like, especially in a race, is my run and good? Kanga. Kanga. Oh, Kanga, is my run good? Is my run bad? What do I need to do to make this run work? Um, so we'll have to start seeing what that looks like uh, once everybody leaves tunnel. We'll take stock of how people's trackers are looking and what their catch count looks like. We we also do have Venomoth added onto the track for here. <laughs> yeah, just because of what happened last time. Uh, I see. So we saw a rare char and we saw a Kanga. Um, we, we saw we saw both of the rare spawns. <laughs> we did. I now what do we need to see? A shiny, I guess. I mean. Shiny pony, please. Who's gonna <laughs> have the shiny? The who's gonna have the shiny running the behind swag. them the rest of the game? <laughs> that is that is the swag play. Is a shiny pony. Uh, I know that you get one in PLA just for being a PLA enjoyer, but I mm -hmm. really I really do love a good shiny pony. It's just really nice. I actually um I was doing a playthrough of Diamond, and I found a shiny pony and caught it. I'm like, wow, a shiny! I don't usually get these when I'm playing the video game. And then I revived my. Cranidos fossil and it was also shiny and I was just nice. like well that's not a thing that happens to anybody um, and I still have both of those Pokemon so that's cool I I don't have any shinies that I've caught during runs still. <laughs> um, I got the Zub. Triv I'm sorry Dynam went to bed but Trivaria saying in chat Dynam get the DDR arrows this Zubat wants to dance that's perfect all, all the Zubats just want to dance By throwing the nat berries. Pat is still not had a Rhyhorn spawn on his screen yet. I believe. Come on, give him. That's an Onyx. Give him something else. Come on. Pat's had onyx what seven onyx. Onyxes spawn. We must summon Ry a Rhyhorn for Pat. Come on, right here. Oof, come on. This worked yesterday. Why isn't it working today? This is Ember's chance of making a catch-up on this one. Because this is. not getting Rhyhorn is a massive time loss. Yeah, no. So if, if T-Pet doesn't get a Rhyhorn... Oh, Amber just got theirs. Let's go. Yes. Um, so Amber's kind of got this disadvantage because they have a minus attack EV. T-Bet may now have a disadvantage if this Rhyhorn doesn't spawn like I told it to. Come on, three seconds. You got this. Um, and Triv is just having a speedrun. Um, so 
Triv is just having a time, honestly. It's doing fine. There's nothing super wrong with this run right now. Triv could just sneak up from behind because everything's going fine. So, and T-Pat does have a decent enough lead. He's a little low on catch count and compared the double to Indra and Triv. Did not um, learn double edge. Is exiting here early enough that he should be okay uh, in terms of keeping pace with the others, even without having the Rhyhorn there. That is unfortunately an Edemis for T-Pat. Um, T-Pat kind of ahead, a, a little behind on catches in comparison to Amber, and will probably lose some time to this Rhyhorn, but could maybe still maintain a lead. Um, if he plays out of his mind, which I believe that he can. So this is still anybody's yeah. race, just really unfortunate <laughs> if, for T-Pat. If he gets this is instant pony, he can that... absolutely play out of his mind. Oh, You've yeah. Seen oh, him on 100%. Two site sub three pace runs, so. I've seen um, so many incredible paces out of T-Pat that I think he can pull this back. Yeah, it depends on what, what pony wants to do for him on Route 17. I think if, if he gets Rapidash right at the very beginning of the route, doesn't need to worry about Ponyta, um, that, I think that fixes everything for T-Pat right there in terms of uh, any time loss from not having mm -hmm. my horn. Ninetales isn't even arrived, is it? I don't think so. Ninetales is not, no. I am disappointed so. that... I'm disappointed Otherwise, to learn that Dodrio has no bonus. grab the Ninetales and ride the Ninetales, but... Dodrio having no like measurable bonus increase in speed makes no sense to me as somebody who watched the anime as a kid because that was the faster Pokemon like between like Arcanine, Rapidash, and uh, the other one, Dodrio. Mm. I don't know. That's just the anime enjoyer in me. The if. Uh... Grabbing the pet decided to swap out here, which I I can't say that I blame him. He baited out Ooh, the okay. uh, the Raichu. Oh, swaps to Ultra. Ooh. Well, Amber um, may have run out of Great Balls. That might be why. Uh, unfortunately, because of the swap, might have just missed the circle. I don't think it'll matter. It didn't matter. Okay. I'm pretty sure we'll see the extra. Ultra Ball pick Definitely. Up and yeah. hide out. I don't know if Amber will pick up the extra Great Balls, maybe? Um, but definitely the Ultra Balls and hide out. Let's oh, see what we do. Okay, so Amber's at I 35. I don't think she'll pick up the Greats. Nice Geodude. I think Amber's 35 coming out of Tunnel. So if we look at their tracker, um, they still have Coughing planned, but they're at 52. Um, so if they don't get a ghastly spawn, they have options before they have to start like thinking about mm -hmm. Tentacool of all things. Um, but if a, if a ghastly spawns, um, Amber's in good shape, I would definitely grab the extra Ultra Balls. You might get away without extra Great Balls because some trainers do give them to you. Um, so it'll kind of depend on what we get at a, at a tower, I think. Yeah, Amber will get two Great Balls from this trainer here. Um, all the Picnickers give uh, give two Great Balls as an additional reward for uh, for beating them in battles. Okay. All right, and um, Triv and T-Pat are also out of tunnel. They can look at their trackers. Uh, Triv is just currently at 54, um, has Grimer marked, uh, and also has Tentacool planned. So hopefully... Um, Hopefully it gets all the spawns required so Triv can get rid of Tentacool, not have to worry about catching it. Um, this does include um, evolving a Pidgey on Route 17 all the way to Pidgeot, which is definitely possible. I don't like relying on it just in case you only see a Pidgeotto, um, just because you know you have to get a specific Pokemon rather than having the flexibility of getting one or the other if you're only evolving one time. So we'll see what winds up happening for, for Triv there. Yeah, it looks like T-Pat's got very similar kind of catch yes. route plan here. Um, does have Tentacool already unmarked, um, as well as uh, planning on going for the Pidgey all the way to Pidgeot line. Um, you know, it is something if he does, if either one of them does get the Pidgeotto and is unable to find the Pidgey, um, there is always the backup plan. You know, you've got yeah. Magmar, you've got, you know, uh, Tangela, you've got Chansey, you know, you've got those three options that you can always fall back on in the event that you do have if he a, sees, uh, um, an Abra. Uh, Pidgeotto only. If he sees an Abra, that's also pretty tech. Um, yeah. 
because yeah. there is still that chance. Um, same thing with Amber, honestly. That could just kind of eliminate having to worry about a late game catch. All right, we have reached the Clefairy. Let us see if we can get an, a metronome and if it's a good one today. Place your bets in chat. And T-Pat got the flinch on the metronome, or uh, on uh, the fairy. <laughs> one less metronome in the world. One less. I've gotten I've gotten one one hit KO'd from that Clefairy before. From oh, no. uh, <laughs> <laughs> you and that's, I both. That's that's never fun when it rolls the uh, the guillotine on. Uh, <laughs> Especially when you're on the metronome level. roll and hits it. I believe Triv is using Nido King, um, so we're not going to see a metronome from from her. Though Amber, there is a chance that we'll see one from New Underscore Amber. Pat getting the Charmeleon there. And because he does not have the right horn, he doesn't have to worry about going up around that uh, that one spinner there. He can just run underneath it and be perfectly safe. Yeah, okay. So T-Pat is appro approaching my least favorite part of the run, which is Rocket Hideout. Um, this, this section has so many different things that you can do that it's impossible to know whatever whatever the right call is i think at least at my level i have it's so bad there's so many different things that can happen everything's mm -hmm. a range like you, you you try to make it as good as possible just because of your experience or pika just goes we're going to use a needle king it's easier it's better it's safer um so there's a lot of things that can happen i'm really curious to see what amber's going to do for that section uh and we'll have to see what T-Pat does as well, though. I think T-Pat... Did he teach Double Edge? I don't... Uh, he has not hit 28 yet. Oh, that would explain that. Okay. Um, so we'll have he to see. He has not hit 28 yet. Uh, yeah, I did T-Pat... I gonna say... I oh, did sorry. see Triv grab the Firestone, so it yep. could be that she's planning on evolving the Growlithe into Arcanine to be able to use that as her Ride Poke here, um, which That's pretty is... uh, standard for Pika, from what I understand. Yeah, it's pretty standard, yeah, but is. that's going to be a huge advantage for her with T-Pat not having a ride poke right now. Um, that would be a huge advantage for her because then she can basically go even faster than than what the Rhyhorn's capable of doing mm -hmm. and possibly take the lead on T-Pat here. Yeah, I think what um, I think what Pika does is they use um, on JJ4, they use the Growlithe as a sack Pokemon, then evolve it into Ar Arcanine and use it down Route 17. Um, so it does move a little bit faster, uh, but you have the advantage of it being able to just draw the, the ire away from the Pikachu for a turn, um, which makes it a little bit of a safer fight. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, chat. Matt said that Pokemon's name correctly. Yeah, Arcanine, come on. Yeah, Arcanine, Magnemity. Larpus. Larpus. Perigno. Pegas. I don't know what you're talking about. Thunder! Thunder paralyzed! That's not cool. Wow! It didn't matter, but Amber's gonna have to heal that paralysis. Awkward. Um, Thunder could have missed there, Clefairy, just so you know. Which, with Pika, you only get two paralyzed heals to begin with, uh, and I believe she had to deal with paralysis in an earlier fight, so Oof. she's gonna be out of paralyzed heals, which removes her god menu at, uh, earlier in the run. Thankfully, that's not too uh, bad. It's just a little bit of lost inputs, um, I think, anyway. It, it's severely un... That's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Yeah, Amber's having a time. Um, a time TM. Amber, Amber is having a time, yes. Amber's definitely but, on a run. But Amber does have four more pokes, pokes than... Yeah, Amber has four more pokes than both Triv and T-Pad at this point, so um, any time loss that she might have experienced already... Uh, is going to be negated somewhat with having those uh, uh, having those pokes already. Oh, still she have, have a to worry heal. about those evolutions. Okay, good. There is a parry heal, so oh, that's something at least. Okay. Yeah, so that's good. Um, all right, so this is one of the first fights that can really troll in Rocket Hideout. I was waiting for something to happen, and yeah, T-Pack got put to sleep, which is not great, but it happens. Mm -hmm. um, you know how to deal with it. You buy like, art awakenings partially for exactly this trainer. Um, oh, and we didn't mention it for T-Pat or Trevaria, but um, Amber is teaching Glitzy Glow um, at the expert 
level of runners will teach it over Buzzy Buzz. A beginner will usually teach it over Sizzly Slide, just for some different strats. And now Amber is going across the center to teach us to teach to synchronize all of the wild Pokemon after the sync. Well, you'll say blue for the first and red for the second. Everything will now be modest, which we'll need later for our new main, which we'll get to in like an hour. Maybe, maybe about, half an hour. About 20 minutes. About 20 minutes about or so. 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. But, uh, 20, it is something... 25 minutes-ish. Yeah. In half an hour, 20-ish uh, minutes, somewhere in there. And, and that's part of the reason that we do set our time to, uh, basically, in addition to the Moonstones, uh, we do set our time uh, so as that way, for the rest of the run, that modest nature will never be set, because that nature, once it's set, uh, is going to be like that for the next 24 hours, unless you go in physically change it again so every pokemon here on out is going to be modest if the clock rolls over it will change obviously remove that uh, that synchronized Ooh. and i've i've actually forgotten that before in, in a run and uh, ended up having to go through e4 with uh, uh fortunately it was a timid uh star me so uh okay but uh but yeah that is something that can happen or that will happen if you do not set your clock properly at the very beginning of the game. Yes, or you could just forget like someone did in this tournament. Um, so Amber doing a really cool fight here that I've actually seen like one time before, um, which is that um, you use the Machop. You X attack the Machop and use the Brick Break to just one shot the Eradicate. Um, so didn't even have to worry about Eevee having a bad attack there, just was like, this is Eradicate, goodbye. So that's one fight that could have gone a lot worse for Amber that actually went, okay, um, took damage that on the Machop. That was actually the right play on the Eradicate. Absolutely, yeah. That, that's a really cool piece of tech. And like I said, infinite strats through this part of the run. It's so confusing when you're trying to learn the game. Also, thank you for correcting me on that, T-Pat. It does, at, at midnight game time is when the uh, when that synchronize wears off. Joker's Rest is kind of special. Yeah, just run Quiet Star, it's fine. Yeah. yeah, just a quiet star. You know, you need to double check your speed for the entire rest <laughs> of the run. But you still get plus attack, plus special attack. So you know, it's fine. Uh, T Pat now fighting um, a sore loser of a rocket grunt who says, "Well, fine. If you beat me, I'm gonna l throw the lift key up here." Um, so T Pat looks around the room to try and figure out what exactly he could use to get up into the vent. Uh, oh, and yeah, this rolly chair, you can stand on that. That's definitely not going to have any health and safety problems. None no, whatsoever. not at all. She is a trained professional. Kids do not stand on a wheelie chair. Yeah, please don't do that. Game Freak, what were you thinking? But this is know. one of the, I think this is one of the cutest parts of this entire game here. I wish it was something they implemented more in throughout the game, being able to control the Eevee and kind of move it around on its own. Yeah, we don't have OSHA in Canada. We have OHS, which is Operational Health and Safety. So, yeah, I didn't go for OSHA compliant because that's not a thing here. It's only a violation if you get caught, Kid Rocker. Sure. <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, our lovely tech person, shout out to Fury, um, has been kind of checking in on. Um, on the pace of the runners, and it looks like T Pat's um, two and a half minutes ahead with four less catches um, and doesn't have Rhyhorn. So you lose, I want to say, 45 ish seconds to no Rhyhorn. Um, and About there's that. there's a copy pasta that says, you know, it's close enough to estimate 30 seconds per Pokemon that you catch. There's a lot of overhead, and there's a lot of stuff that kind of makes that extra, but there's some. It's close enough for when you're estimating so given that this is still a very close race amber's still got a couple of fights that are going to be rough for them um triv is motoring along she's on both of these runners heels if any of them make any mistakes uh triv is going to move in and snipe everything um so can't cut any of these runners out yet thank you everyone for pasting the copy pasta i grabbed it last night and was thinking about reading it on air but we'll see about maybe later T-Pat, that's not true, and we all know this. No, um, T-Pat saying, I'm behind in skill. No, absolutely not. Uh, no. Even even hitting the optional, T-Pat is possibly in the lead, so... Yeah, this this is, a, this is literally anybody's race at this point. Yeah, like we oh, said, any of these runners have the ability to play out of their goddamn minds, and they are. This is 
incredible Let's Go content. Like, I, I, I actually sat down and I watched uh, T-Pat's mid-game mm. for, you know, my practicing, basically, uh, earlier today. And he has three minutes of time save compared to, like, compared to my my PB, three minutes of time save. What does this Arbok from... have against T-Pat? Okay, so it glared the Eevee, he's like, fine, I'll get rid of the paralysis, and then it, then it paralyzed the Machop. What did the Machop do to you? It's just a Machop. It can't do anything to poison types. I don't know why it's so hateful. Leave him alone. Leave him alone, he's a human being. She's a human being, my apologies. <laughs> Anyway, I think T-Bat's gonna get out of this fight. Maybe okay? Oh, caught the caught the quick, yeah, the slight misclick. Fine. Oh yeah, totally fine. Um, I have a little bit of delay compared to the other comms. My apologies. Uh, Triv also starting to get through this fight okay, doing the uh, yeah. a Horn King fight, um, which is one which, which is a good option for Pika. Yeah, a very and, good and option for Pika. It's it's not a terrible option for EV either. Um, the thing with the the Horn King though. If you get a minus attack Rhyhorn, it does make it a guaranteed two shot on the Arbok and a uh, potential two shot on the uh, the mm -hmm. Weezing. So that is something you do need to hope that your Rhyhorn, first of all, is level 25 by the time you get to that fight, and that it's not minus attack. Otherwise, you know, yeah. you're, you're going to be in for a couple of additional turns there. I go for EV Horn. Um, in that's in, um... typically what I that's typically yeah. what I've been going for. Um, one Same. shot the uh, the Arbok and then turn two Glitzy Glow and uh, drill run the uh, the wheezing there. Yep. Cheapad also did lose a god menu having to use the last para heal. Did Amber lose it or is still preserved no, it? No, Amber, still, it... Has Amber it. still has it. Okay, um, so there is a hyper potion coming up here in uh, that's uh, true Pokemon actually. Power though that T-Pat can grab to be able to get that god menu back. Um, it's something I've had to, to rely on before in the past as well. well. Also, that's a good Hyper Potion to pick up in this race regardless. Um, I do or, it be if I'm low on Super Potions. Um, I find it useful on Archer. Nice or to you have just for, do the Vermilion Shop. Or you could early shop, for sure. Sandy did that in our race. Which was literally the difference. T-Pat getting through Archer 1 here, which is less terrifying than Archer 2 can be. Oh no, and there goes a para. Ooh. Like we said, let's let's go. Anything can happen. Um, so uh, Amber is doing the strat that I am aware of when you get parried, which is uh, just 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 go through it. Just just fight through it. Just don't worry about it. Uh, and it worked out somehow, so that's okay. Uh, I don't know if either of our um, commentators know how much slower is doing an early shop. I don't think it's any slower because you skip the shop in Saffron entirely. I yeah. think the only thing is that you might... No, you should be able to have enough money to do everything you need to, right? Yeah. Like, I think it's yeah. pretty much the same. Um, you're just used to doing the shop after for menu reasons, I think. The main yeah, the advantage one... to it is if you're low on heals, yeah. then having that is huge because then you now have the hypers for the archer fight for the archer fight um you also do need to do the gyms out of order so you basically do uh celadon gym then you do vermilion gym because you do the shop in vermilion city uh before flying Correct. back to uh, celadon to go to saffron so it's a couple, couple right. extra additional uh, things that you need to do, but um, in terms of time, it's very, very small uh, time okay. loss. That's good. Any. And we're taking an extra turn on Archer here, but that's okay. There's um, no real poison, uh, which is good to see, and going to recover some health back with Bouncy Bubble to make this a little safer. Might still want to heal for Giovanni, though. T-Pat is through Geo here. Riv and T-Pat both, both through, through Geo. This They're is very close. This is insanely close. This I is so curious. close. T-Pat does have an extra poke on Triv. 
Uh, but no Rhyhorn, so this is very close. Yes. Um, I am curious for New Amber what strat she's going to use for Geo, because with minus attack, the uh, sizzly, side sla sizzly slide strat, say that ten times fast. Sizzly uh, slide strat. Hmm. Is, uh, is much more difficult than, uh, than obviously without that minus special or minus attack there. Yeah, using a potion just to top up the health, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I wonder if, I don't know if Amber bought enough X special attacks, but there might be a X special fight in here. Um, I don't, I don't know, we'll have to see. I'm really curious as, um, as T-Pat and Triv get balloon fight, uh, and go off to Pokemon Tower. Yeah, and Triv did opt to grab those additional, uh, Ultra Balls just Smart, to the side there. Mm -hmm. Triv still having marked, uh, coughing, I believe. No, doesn't have, sorry. Grimer, Eevee Brain. Yes. <laughs> yes, Triv has Grimer marked, and T Pat and does have mark. coughing marked. Uh, Triv does Tenta, have but 54. Tenta marked. Does have... Has 54 yeah, planned, though. Has 54 yes. planned. So, like, so Tenta and Grimer Triv are probably going to be the two. Both removed. the Pidgey and the Psyduck. It's Tr Triv has good. very bad switch entropy, though, so I don't blame her for going for it. <laughs> uh, also, Amber just did the regular fight. Um, looks like they're level 31, so they just were like, uh, oh, it's fine okay. range. So, yeah. yes, it was all right. Um, that's good. That's good. That means we just bouncy bubble this and we win. Um, and then Amber can go and do tower and hopefully have a good tower. Hopefully everybody gets a ghastly. Um, oh, t -Pat doesn't have ghastly marked and still has a, ca a catch rat that works. Um, I assume he'd be okay seeing a ghastly and that way he could not do coughing. Um, but we'll find out. Yeah, and it could be something where T-Pat, you know, he might be planning on Ghastly showing, or might be planning on Ghastly, but he doesn't have it marked in case it doesn't show up. You know, Tower Golbat moment. Tower Tower does not like to produce spawns, even with a lure up. Um, I have personally have stopped using a lure, wasting a lure in uh, Tower, uh, just because... I'm converting to I feel that like myself. I get more. I feel like I get more lures, or more spawns without the lure than I do with. If you watch my round two race, you will see that I caught a Ghastly, and then my lure ran out, and I didn't bother refreshing it because I had what I needed and I was just going to lure um, on the menu before uh, round 17. And then I found three more Ghastlies. I know that's a catch chain, but the lure went away. So I feel like you're just going to get more spawns without the lure at this point. But that's a that's a very much a confirmation bias experience. Yep. So. Triv Motorin. Um, looks like T-Pack got an evolution, so that'll slow him down a tad, but as we say, you know, 30 seconds a catch. Uh, so, there's that. Yeah, that's gonna be, uh, uh, and that's, that's not a, uh, trade-off evolution either, because Triv did not get Krabby earlier, so that is an evolution T-Pat has that, too, uh, that T-Pat has mm -hmm. that Triv doesn't, but it looks like, uh, t -Pat is up is to Pokemon. Onto, yes. Triv is onto our first trainer in, uh, Tower here. Which Pika Pika go burr in this section because it doesn't have to worry about sucker punch because that of the taunting ghastly is too far away to go get and it's just like hello I'm over here you can't get me na na na. <laughs> Drew saying wow yep that's about right. <laughs> so it looks like T Pat has gotten no spawns. Let's we'll see if he gets a spawn after the uh, uh, saddest cutscene in the game coming up here. Triv is able to skip for the books that she has marked, so... Yes, yes, um, yes. which is good, because again, Ghastly is being a bit of a troll at the moment. Um, T-Pat grabbing the extra Ultra Balls. Amber also finally making their way into Tower. Um, so all of the runners are in the same area, uh, which is good. Um, Triv has the least amount of catches and is a little bit behind T-Pat. Or a little bit ahead of T-Pat? A little bit ahead of T-Pat. And Amber has... Ahead. Tower Cubone for Amber, that's useful. Um, and going through, uh, Amber has the most catches. So all runners are very, very close. Um, T-Bat doesn't have a Rhyhorn, so that kind of slows him down a little bit. Um, but if he gets an early pony, that can easily turn around. Not to mention there are um, three fights that I refer to as the terrible trifecta that kind of just can waste your time and have caused the race to swing in different directions throughout the course of this tournament. Um, those ones being... Archer, Caden, and Carolyn, um, who we will see Archer uh, after we get our new main. Uh, so things will look a little bit in this order 
for a while, uh, and then we'll start seeing things swing around as those fights come up. Although I'm at a point now where with Caroline, if it goes wrong, say you miss Hydro for turn one. You think you'd like summon 2C? Summon 2C, expect, and Scald. Plus yeah. four Scald always kills. I think that might be right for a race. Um, I, I remember... Because um, that guarantees <laughs> that you don't end up with the bad Caroline fights. Yeah, I know... we have um, seen swing races. I've seen T-Pat say, as someone who has missed multiple Hydro Pumps on Carolyn, don't do that. But I, I think in a race, you just do it so you don't lose a heck ton of time. I think that's just mm -hmm. the compromise. Like, obviously, a PB, you don't care. Because you're like, okay... Well, no, on PB, on PB, you just go. Yeah, but for I mean, a race... Because, I you're not running safe threats on PB attempts anyway. No, most le not at these runners' levels. Absolutely not. t -Pat. did get Para on turn one here from the Arbok, it looks like. And it looks um, like um, it both of them are now poisoned. t -Pat has to use his Shalor Sable, so he will be needing to grab the full heals. Um, I don't know if he will. Is this toxic poison or is this regular poison? That's regular poison. It's regular he used poison. the Shalor Sable on the previous turn, though. Then, yeah, no, I wouldn't. I think what I'd try here is I'd just try to finish the fight, yeah, because this is the last fight yeah, that Eevee would be. Yeah, this so you fight, just yeah. get out the fight, because uh, Eevee can just faint now. If Eevee's done. Etchy seven to Eevee, you're good. Thank you so much for your help, but now you can go away because we're gonna get a new main now. Give our salutes. Yep. Salutes to Eevee. Salutes to Pika. We don't see him again. Yeah, Triv also finished that fight um, right on T-Pat's heels, though a couple catches behind. Uh, and Amber is just about to start the fight um, but on both runners' heels very much. So still literally anybody's race. And several pokes ahead. And several pokes ahead. Um, so this is the last fight where the minus attack is going to matter, if at all, honestly. I don't think... I think it's all glitzy lows for this yeah. one, for, for Amber. So it doesn't even really yep. matter. So we're out of that awkward section. Now Amber can just try to make up with playing out of their goddamn mind, which is the same thing t is doing right now. So we'll see we'll see if they can um, keep pace with each other. Right, and T-Pat really is needing to hope... If I'm t -Pat, I'm hoping for Rapidash at the top of the right route, not Ponyta. Um, just so um, that way he does not have to go through that evolution menu. He can just grab it, uh, make it his ride, and just go. Yeah, um, I don't remember if T-Pat grabbed any extra ultra, ultra Balls, so that might be a little risky in terms of like making sure he gets a good catch. Um, but either either a Ponyta or a Rapidash first is great, because Triv just evolved um, Arcanine to... Uh, sorry, Arcanine to get through Route 17. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, T-Pat getting an early Rapidash gives him that edge over Amber, if Amber gets a late Rapidash. Um, even just evolving with a rare candy, that's just kind of standard. That's probably what Amber's gonna do. So, might be fine in terms of like time save, first time loss. And now we get the uh, the Snorlax. Let's see if anybody is getting the shiny Snorlax in a run today. You mean like you did in the what was the AOP? Yeah, the AOP race we did. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody Skill. said that they got one the following day in a speed run too. <laughs> I've never heard of it Keith? before I got it. Wasn't that Keith that did that? I can't remember. I still think I'm the only one with a shiny char in an AOP run. Hey, I'll one up all of you. I found a shiny in the Pokemon Sleep beta. So, uh, you know. Okay. So okay. My okay. first ever AOP, the Gift Charmander, was shiny. Oh, nice. <laughs> the, that shiny Paris that I, that I saw. I deleted. That shiny Paris I saw was the only shiny I've ever seen in Let's Go. I have shinies in Let's Go because I caught them in Pokemon Go, but I have really bad shiny luck um, in main series Pokemon games. Apparently, I'll just find them in every other kind of game, but main series? Yeah, good luck. I have a few from over the years, but not that many. T-Pat running low on lures, it looks like. He did the uh, he did, didn't set up a lure when he flew. It looks like he set up in the, uh, the guardhouse there. Uh, which is a little bit different. Normally, Ooh. you have the lure set up when you uh, when you do your fly menu. Pony's really good. That's what he that's, needed. That's the tech. That's, that's what we needed yep. to see. Um, 
Greta's saying that they found an, a shiny Lolan Grimer in the trade during Diploma, and that's pretty great because that's a really good shiny. I really like that shiny. That is a really good shiny. That is a clean shiny. Triv now also on Route 17, grabbing the Super Lure, looking for a pony, gets a Pidgeotto. Triv would like to see a Pidgey instead, so gonna opt not to do that. I see a Pidgey. I don't know if they're gonna go back for that, though. Oh, no, so it right for it. Triv, I would. Triv is going for it. Yes, I think that makes sense for Triv because that gives her the option to take out an entire pair. Um, because, yeah, didn't get Ghastly, currently has 52 planned. With this, as long as she finds Duck Bird, as, as long as she finds the bird that is remaining, the fish that is remaining, and the pony, can skip Tentacle. Uh, well, they can. She can skip Tenta, period. As long as, um,. She gets all the spawns on this route, yes. Um, or yes, I guess we could go for Grimer instead, but we'll see. What, I, don't, I don't know how good Grimer is as a cat, as all, an EV player. All she needs is either yeah, Grimer or Psyduck. Amber now joining the other runners on this route. T-Pat finally has a mount uh, to ride. Oh, Amber also getting a pretty early pony. That's not what T-Pat wanted to see, uh, but I'm sure Amber is happy about that. Yeah, early pony's really good. Nice Rapidash on T-Pat screen. That's, um, that's there for luck. That's what that is. Oh, and Triv getting the, the bird. The other bird. T-Pat needs the Pidgey, Psyduck, and... Yeah, that Pidgey. Oh, there's the Pidgey. Psyduck and the uh, Doduo still. Um, he does have options if he does not get Psyduck or Doduo to spawn. He does have the fallback options available, but um, obviously he needs at least one of those two to, to show up here. Triv very happily exclaiming, no Fire Blast, because the last few times I've seen them do runs, I think they've had no Doduo. Um, so she's happy to see that for sure. Uh... <laughs> oh, and a duck. Okay, so Tri Triv like found everything that except, is for the, perfect. except for the pony just needs the pony um no dodrio riding today i hope and, and pray oh and oh, T -Pat Do also found doduo um looks like amber needs duck and doduo and then our runners has, are in good shape t pat has removed duck from his uh catch uh tracker so he is going to plan to go for the tentacool instead uh so i once feel he's like if he sees here, a duck he's just gonna go i feel like if he sees a duck he's getting it though because i don't I, like I duck over tenta any day 100 100 i just think he's just gonna try and go though and i don't uh, blame I him for that i hope tentacool is nice to him if that ends up being what he does um we don't want any and any... can be nice uh, i've had it where it doesn't move <laughs> literally like didn't yeah. move it's... yeah no it just was like hi i'm a tentacool and i'm like it happens okay. every now and again <laughs> yeah <laughs> So I think during my first round race that it was just like, hi, I'm a tentacle. And I'm just like, um, thank you for being a tentacle. And Amber getting the Psyduck. Okay, so now Amber just, just needs, needs Bird. Yep, just needs Doduo. Uh, worst case, um, worst case they have to catch a tentacle if they don't see Doduo. I don't think we want that. T Pat That's is going I didn't without, even need. Uh, yeah, T Pat is just going without the Psyduck, not worrying about it. Mm -hmm. um, just so... needs Pony. Come on, Pony. Show up. That's not a pony. None of those are a pony game. Come on. Does Triff still have her uh, oh repel or has she used that already? Uh, good question. Uh, oh, there's a pony. Okay. Whew. I had to wait for it, but one showed up. So that's something at least. Yeah, went back up just to check up top. T Pat and now paid off. getting C skim. Uh, and, and with a race this close, something like that it can be detrimental in, in a race yeah, this close unfortunately. at this point in time. Um, it really can. Oh, Amber. Oh, no. Amber um, getting Do, Do Duo um, ran out of great balls. I don't. I think Ultra Poke is fine. Uh, Ultra, Poke, Ultra is fine. Should be Poke is fine, fine yeah. because that's, the only thing he has strap. left is the Scar and Coughing. And Coughing, which is a little scary, yeah. but with the Silver Razes, I'm hoping that everything will work out just yeah. fine. Assuming we don't... she has at least two Ultras left, she's fine. 
Yeah, oh, and Amber, I do see, okay. is planning on evolving the Vulpix into Ninetales. Uh, so... Yeah, that makes sense, because um, didn't... Mm -hmm. um, only caught the Need Arena, so that's the one, yeah. the, the odd one out, in terms of the catch count there. Alright, T-Pad is now going to go and get a star. May all of our players get good stars. Uh, we don't need to ask for too much, just like a star that'll outspeed everything on Blaine, and a star that doesn't have minimum special attack. Like every other star this uh, this round of the tournament has been. <laughs> yeah, like let's hope for okay. a star, some stars that are maybe above average CP. That'd like, be cool. That's a Tenta. T-Pat's gonna give, go right for it. Okay. Yep, be nice, Tenta. going right for the Tenta. Give them the stars I had in my first two races where I was able to Psychic and kill with Psychic on Sammy. See, look at this. The Tenta's not moving. I've seen that happen before. So, cooperating so nicely with T-Pat there. That's great. Now we just need a star. There's no chance he he's gonna get a star. It'll be like instantaneous. And yeah. Oh, af after the Machop level up, though. That's Gotta get that Evo a, first. That's just a minip for... Yeah, it was a star minip. Good star minip. And Amber is now getting uh, getting Surfy Surf with a Triv right behind her. First, we've got this little like 40 to 45 second non-skippable cutscene that... Uh, in my opinion, should be should be something that can be skipped, but um, it should you know, be. Just that to... said, though, it's a really great place in the run to just like reset your brain if you had a bad route or whatever. If you're like, okay, this is the final stretch, give yourself a pep talk. You're like, okay, we did it. Just gotta push through the end, and I find end game significantly easier than mid game. So you know, it's all downhill yeah. from here. There's a star for T Pat. All right, let's see how good it is. 1075. We take those. So above average, we'll take it. That is above average. Has two ultras left. Jumping like a maniac. Okay, it's gonna get in. We're fine. And he does not get motion controlled. That's nice. <laughs> Amber got ambushed by the star. Okay, that's cool. What is it? It's 1091. That's good. also good to see. That's Ooh. also really good. So, so we finally Amber get just good throwing star use right away. <laughs> Above average star use. Unfortunately, CP is not a guarantee of quality. Uh, no, but, it isn't. True. But I have faith in these CP stars for these players. I've seen uh, 1,100 stars be everything in special defense and defense, and nothing in special attack and speed. Yep, I've seen similar. <laughs> you, you run this game long enough, you've, you've seen every star me possible, yep. pretty much. <laughs> yep. <laughs> T-Pad immediately menuing to get the star on the party. We'll see if he does the full menu here or not. Yeah, this race is single-handedly increasing the average CP of stars. Okay, we're going to look at right now. Oh, that's fine. That's a good speed. That's decent special oh. attack. This star is totally passable for T-Pad. This is a very good star. This is a very good star. This is a very good star for T-Pad. Very fast, good special attack. <laughs> Amber a getting good star. <laughs> Amber getting spawn camped by a Magikarp. That's great. Oh, no. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, that's the manip for Amber's star also being really good, uh, because it's Schrodinger star. We don't know how good it is until we see it. Oh, and Triv getting one right at the end. Uh, 1078, all above average stars for this race, which is awesome. Amber doing her uh, star you menu. And it and looks like she's planning on fire blasting slower, but for... good special attack. Ooh, yeah. 84 at Hydro Pump. Okay, so that's that's kind of dicey. Um, 122 for T-Pats for special attack. Ooh, that's good. So he is already the uh, 13, speed, 13, so 13 14 not out of 16 range the rapid dash. New Charizard. No. Charizard. Yeah, T-Pat star is good enough oh. that he can sculpt. Uh, 14 out of 16 range for uh, Blue's Charizard. He might go for that too, just try and catch up he a may. little. Well, to try and pull ahead, I should say. I, I, well, we don't know the pace until right about here, I'd say. Um, okay, so Triv is one Eve. Okay, so Triv just hasn't evolved a star yet, uh, and then they will all have the same number of catches going into Blaine. Um, mm. Oh, never mind. Like... T Pat and Amber are gonna throw are gonna prove me wrong unless Triv also catches that Grimer. I Pat not wasting any time, just throwing a, a nab berry to stop the coughing to get it oh, right good. away. All three of our runners have caught, uh, found a very early um, 
last Pokemon in Mansion. Yep. My only worry is I hope Amber. Oh no, Amber, please, Amber, please. Oh, recalibrate, no. No. recalibrate your Joy Cons. Uh, <laughs> Motion controls killing okay. Amber. It got in though, so Amber doesn't need to worry about her ball count anymore. I, that's her last catch. There's... That's her last catch. Um, going to evolve the Nine Tails, uh, and then just evolve everything else that they have in the party. Um, that is Amber being the only runner that needs to evolve Nine Tails, which is a little unfortunate, um, but that's just the way the catch route worked out. Oh, and Triv still has yet to do her uh, Star U menu, so we're not quite sure what her Star Star Me is going to look like yet. Um, but yeah, all the catches are done at this point in the run. The only thing left for all three of these runners is to get the uh, get all their every all their evolutions done, and then get the uh, the Larpus and uh, Perigno after uh, Sylphco. Perigno. Perigno. Okay. Blue Perigno. Porygon JPG. Oh man, when you're doing a race where everyone's like on the same uh, fight, you're just like, yeah, um, everyone's doing the same fight. It's going yep. fine. Not much to talk about. Um, Ted. It's Ted. Ted's a quick two-turn fight. Triv is making sure that Dodrio is available for blue, uh, which is good. I respect it. Uh, no fire blasts for her. We're, we're just going to have a nice straightforward blue. The glowing grimer was so nice. And now we're going to check the star after a little menu to reorganize the party. Ooh, okay. That's also a very good star. That does everything yep. you need yep. it to. That's oh, again, nice. Star. That special attack is nuts. Nuts. Okay. This, wow. I think Trey may have got the best star. This is an insanely good star. <laughs> This star is as cracked as it is jacked. This this race is as uh, cracked as it is jacked. T-Pat running into the Magmar for the Archer Manipulator. Um, everything fine there. I think he's skipping the bed heal. Nope, taking the bed heal. Okay, that means that he's probably going to try and evolve that Dodrio, which is, I think is the correct move. Yeah, yes. he had uh, he had Doduo in the uh, second slot in his party, so... Um, Amber, I am curious to know if she's going to be going for Fire Blast Strat or if she's going to be going for the uh, uh, Dodrio Drill Peck on blue because she does have Rapidash in that two slot. For Amber party. grabbing the Mansion Candy, so I'm going to assume trying to go for Dodrio. Maybe yeah, use that Dodrio. to evolve, evolve, do, do, yep. evolve the Dodrio. Since if you catch it late on Route 17, it doesn't evolve. I learned the hard way that it just doesn't evolve. So if you use the Rare it Candy, didn't evolve for me. you, you guarantee that you have Dodrio. Yeah, and if, uh, if if Doduo is your last spawn on or last catch in the route aside from Staryu, uh, Doduo will not evolve by the time yep. you get to blue. Nope. Yep. Nope. So it's just it's better it, in this tourney. I've seen Fire Blast miss into death on blue, so you just don't want that. Yes. Um, and on Tpat screen, at a quiz. Oh, and Amber screen at a quiz time. At a quiz times in chat, or if you just follow at a quiz time too. Quiz. And Meanwhile, uh, Trip has Muck blocking her path. Muck and Grimer uh, both. They are, like, right next to each other blocking the way. What a load of sludge. <laughs> Teapot and Amber literally, literally neck and neck. Uh, okay, let's look at their catch counts. 40, they're identical. 40, they're identical, they're so identical it, this, is, this is a An very close Evos. race. Triv is also two Pokemon up, I'm realizing. So Triv is not that far behind, actually. No, uh, no. Gonna have a, Gonna get a little bit trolled with these um, Pokemon blocking her way. Um, but we also keep in mind, uh, Amber needs to evolve the Ninetales, which is a bit of a slower evolution than the other ones t still has to do. Um, Triv is bopping along, um, so as long as nothing bad happens to Triv, if, if, any of the, if the other runners slip at all, Triv is very much still in this race. Thanks, Muck. You're a pal. Um, this could still go any way whatsoever. If, if Koga, if Kaden, if Archer, if Carolyn go any bad way for any of these runners, the other ones are going to sneak up and take it. Triv can do some pretty sick 1Z strats, I think, in late game because her her star is just that good. What is this? There's a rat hiding behind the wall. That's not cool, You game. can't even see that. You, you have how? no shot. That's... No shot. 
I've ran into I've ran into dittos on in AOP runs <laughs> along that wall before. So uh, see, that's when you want to see that. But that's when you want to see it. But yeah, that's just oh. that was just a bad spawn. It looks like. So does I forget? Does Amber's uh, star outspeed everything on Blaine or not quite? No. Okay, that's what I, I thought. I missed the speed stat, so um, typically the only thing you're in. At 46, you will not outspeed the Rapid Ash, no. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, I think T Pat's in the lead right now. It's a small lead, but because Amber has to it, do the slower evolution and because they're gonna get outsped right yeah. now, just a slight T -Pat's edge to T Pat. Ever so slightly ahead. And that's it's with an like optional and no Rhyhorn. So he's moving. He's sh moving. Yeah, he imagine this run without the he optional and with Rhyhorn. He, we'd be like, T-Pat's definitely ahead, but even with those things, he's ahead. So this is really close. Yeah, as Sandy says, let Archer, Koga, and Carolyn decide. It's so true. Well, the first, the first one of those three is coming up here in just a little bit. Where uh, after, first we've got to go check some trash cans to, for some switches, and then go. Uh, pretty much destroy a, uh, a flower shop uh, before we go and, uh, you know, save save Saffron City and Sylphco. Triv hot on the runner's heels, just uh, heading right on into Blaine. Uh, I think, with the, was that a what's that on that question? Not quite. Yeah. It was? Awesome. And uh, the game being like, wow, you have seven badges. That's so cool. Uh, we actually have three. Uh, the game just oh, figured yeah. we'd do Blaine um, second last. Um, but no, our penultimate um, gym badge will be Koga's because he has the hardest requirement in the game where you need a whole 50 Pokemon to get into his gym. And that's slow. Which is why we're catching everything through the entirety of the run. It makes Although, for one of the cooler Pokemon speedruns, in my opinion. It does. Although I'm sad we don't get to see Venomoth in this run at all. No, but it's been added to the tracker as a result of the race yesterday, and I love that so very much. Shoutouts to Tech. Spider, you're mm -hmm. great. Also, Phoenix, when are you running AOP? I'm not. I can barely run a three and a half hour run. <laughs> I, I would like to be able to run um, longer categories, but I am not built for it. Um, also, my cat would be mad at me if I did that, so I won't, and that's okay. I'll run Cassette Beasts instead. Just and, run uh, a Diploma, it's fine. Ditch Bill. I'll run Ditch Bill or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll come back to Let's Go, but it's too hot. Like, I'm hot in my office right now um, to keep running it this summer, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But but I am Let's Go pilled like crazy. And I this just can't is, this stop. Is a, this is a fun run, if for, especially it for, for newer... Run. For newer to Pokemon speed runs, uh, people that are newer to Pokemon speed runs, I think this is one of the most accessible games to get into for new runners. It's um, so fun to watch and to learn because it's different every time. And that's not yeah, an exaggeration because your catch rate's always going to be different, your star's always different, your starter's always different. Yeah, and that's that's actually something that uh, we were talking about in uh, Etiquette's chat uh, one day is after, like, at this point, this is the point where it turns basically into like every other Pokemon speed run yeah. where, you know, you're just going through the motions, you're checking your ranges. The entire game up until Blaine is so vastly different that it, you can you can have a horrible rock tunnel and still finish with a sub, you know, three three ten run, you know, just because you get your catches later on in the run. So um yeah. I, I think this is one that's what makes this one of the most fun games ever. Or for for Pokemon speedruns. I um, came into PSR. I guess I can say I'm part of PSR now because I've literally run this game. Um, just because I watched um, Etiquette's GDQ run on YouTube, and I've been this was um, this was very early 2021 for me, and I've literally been addicted to this ever since. Like this tourney is the 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 um, oh I forget the word. It's like the culmination of all of the let's go that I've wanted in my life. And it's just, it hasn't stopped. And I'm so glad I have let's go content like all of the time right now. Uh, anyway, um, it's, we, it's a good run. Yeah, it's a very good um, run. 
I guess all we're seeing right now is kind of a gym gauntlet, so there's not a whole lot exciting. And that's why we're trying to fill our our dead air with anything else. Um, as basically you do you do uh, Blaine, which is a little bit exciting because it's actually a higher level and you need to think about it. You do Surge, which you literally just mash A4. Uh, and then after a bunch of movement, you do Erica, which you just go down to Psychic and hit A a bunch. Yeah, this this is the the kind of grindy section of the game here just because again it, you're you're doing basically we're doing all of our gyms in like a 30 minute section of a three hour run yep it's a whole thing um i know when etchy is in erica's gym uh he'll actually play a bunch of sound alerts because this is the most prime place to get copyright <laughs> strikes Yeah, I always get my YouTube so videos weird. on uh, and miss these gym. <laughs> Tre Trevaria, um, the other runners did this too, but went for the um, the middle cans there, and wow, they all got first try can luck. It's almost like that's uh, hundred percent guaranteed. Um, what? They they changed that for uh, for this game um, after Fire Red and Leaf Green and the original um, games not having it, and that this is so much better. They gave you like a puzzle where you can talk to the gym trainers and they'll like tell you, oh, it's not next to the red can or it's like, it's these ones, they're next to each other, blah, blah, blah. So you, so it's a kind of a puzzle, but when you're a speedrunner, you just know where they are and it doesn't matter. And it's yep. so much nicer, but you do have to worry about the vision of the trainers. Everyone kind of approaches those cans from the right side when they're going down because the gentleman that's on the left can see you. Uh, and that sailor, you can definitely accidentally talk to him. And I take that can so carefully um, so you, you carefully. Hit, you talked to that sailor we once, and you took because we've all hit him. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I've seen people talk to that trainer by accident, and mm -hmm. um, I watch a lot of etiquette. Etiquette says I do the bottom can first, so if I talk to the sailor, I can reset faster. Uh, so I took that to heart, and now I just always very carefully click that can, uh, especially after seeing um, etiquette. Sorry, etiquette. Etchy fail Colby skip a couple weeks ago. Uh, which we'll talk about later in the run, but after seeing that happen, I'm like, I'm just gonna not take any chances Class with how no I plays. interact with Taking any chances after that <laughs> happened? No. Oh, good. T-Pat just got the Dodrio do 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 on the fight before he needed it. That's excellent to see. So, no no Fire Blast and Prey for T-Pat either, um, so Blue is gonna be nice and straightforward for all of our runners. Uh, and then it'll just be Bad Archer, which we are coming up to very quickly. Everybody's, everybody's still very much ahead here. In the game. Very much T-Pad is still ahead. Um, yes. Is he at 45 now? He's at 45 now. He needs yeah. two, two, three more Evos and the two gift Pokemon. Yeah, so T-Pad is the lowest in terms of catch count. Um, it looks like Triv's just got the Muck left to evolve, and then Amber's yep. got Dodrio and Coughing. Um, Already T evolved the Nine Tails, which is... He yes, largely he the difference here his right now. Three yeah. perks already evolved though after uh um, So it's really gonna Archer. come down it's really gonna come down to Archer. Um, it's it's so close. The final boss of this tournament is the the chair the terrible trifecta, the Archer, the Kogan slash Caden, the Carolyn. Um Caden's Archer a gym later, let's be honest. We actually random like because of a meme, got a timing for the three-turn perfect archer, and e because of all of the double battle lag, that because it, that's a true double battle, and your partner is uh, your rival, uh, who has a cubone, not good, but here we are. Um, that fight, if it goes perfectly as a three-turn, is still one minute and forty-six seconds. That is for a three-turn fight. So any, I think a turn has like 15 to 20 seconds of lag in it. So every turn mm -hmm. really matters. I can really swing this race. So we'll have to see what happens. Um, before t -Pat goes into Archer, we have Blue. Um, this fight is always two seed because Starmie has about two different Pokemon in this game that it doesn't have good coverage for. One of, well, actually only one at this point. And that's only one. That's Executor. Uh, Executor. It's the only one that doesn't hit for neutral damage. Yeah, before you get Thunderbolt, Slowbro is pretty bad, but you get Thunderbolt, so it doesn't matter. Um, so, Executor is the only Pokemon that we don't do neutral damage to, so that's why you either have Rapidash and you risk a Fire Blast missing, or you have a Dodrio, which now Amber also has, so all of our runners will be probably using. You use an X Attack, Drill Peck is guaranteed to kill the Executor. No problem. And I think 
Um, it was also said, T-Pat has a 14 and 16 range on the Charizard that Blue has. We'll see if he goes for it. He might actually be at a 16 out of 16 range uh, after the le- if he With levels 80s. up after the Exeggutor. After the level up? I'm oh. If he levels sure. up after Exeggutor, he'll probably have the guaranteed range for Scald then, on then we'll the And we'll see uh, what happens. Charizard. He might be able to get even further ahead here. This is awesome, by the way. Like, oh, all of our least, runners can... are... All of our runners are playing out of their absolute minds right now. And I'm just so yeah. I'm so impressed with T-Pat because he's behind and he hit an optional and he didn't get a Rhyhorn. This is just insane. And yet T-Pat says he doesn't. T-Pat have said he lost. Like, such a lot. Incorrect. <laughs> yeah. Like, but I don't have this go. I'm like, that is a lie. You've been on sub three pace runs. Don't lie. Oh no, this is. You know what? It's this, just like this trick. is still That's anybody's race entry. too. Absolutely, still this anybody's is... race. Um, mm -hmm. T-Pat's just a little bit ahead right now. All three of these runners are absolutely insane. Okay, let's see. I don't know the range, but maybe one of you can let me know. How is a 126? Uh, very 26. Yeah, <laughs> on level 47. Seven is very good. Yeah, that's pretty that good. Very good. Yeah, that's that's uh, a no special attack range. He's guaranteed. Okay, okay. He's he's guaranteed. He can scald pretty much Koga. Yeah, I don't know if he can point. scald. Oh, he will with the Venonat because we were candy before that fight. So yeah, he's probably good for the rest of the game. I think. Well, there's a couple of higher ranges that he can't do, but right now um, there are no ranges. Six right now. He will candy after. Sabrina. Well, candy after Sabrina, yes. and he gets one more level up. Uh, so at least two, that candy as well. at least so two special two attacks. Levels. So he should be guaranteed to be able to go scald the entire way through Koga. That's pretty good. Uh, that would help with some PP management. All right, here we are and into depending into on how Archer two. Layout. Yeah. Keypad is the first into Archer two. As Amber is right on his heels, at blue with two extra catches, and Triv is right behind them as well, getting right into self co. As we right, wait for the status lag, what will we get for the first turn? Come on. Boom, no Ooh, self, self destruct, boom, no, no protect. protect. That is the best that opening. That is the perfect get. turn one. Not, uh, Muck Skull range is not good for uh, Hot Koga. Well, that's, that's one you have to one psychic, psychic no matter what. Okay. So that's a great start for T Pat. Um, we'll have to see what the other runners get. But uh, what you don't want to see is. Um, you just want to see self-destruct no protect. If you see self-destruct protect, that's also yep. okay, but it's not as good. Uh, so now you want to see to... no protect from the wheezing and double bone into the rat. Yeah, we need we need Trace to cooperate here. Ooh, sucker start. punch into the Cubone. That's really good. Yeah, that that's means that handy. Cubone went for uh, Ooh, went for bone meringue. ring most likely. Okay, critical hit, with a crit. bone meringue. Okay, so if it headbutts or bone meringues into the eradicate, I think those are both kills. I think they are. Can he get yeah. the three turn? Is we'll Trace. find out. Trace? And Trace? Amber is walking up to the fight now. Trace? T-Pat's OMGing in chat. That might be good, it might be bad. Oh, it, no, it avoided! Oh, oh no! Oh, no. Come on! No! No! Not like this! Not like this! Okay, Amber is now starting our turn. So percent to hit. We're gonna see what happens here. Um, Amber's fight could be better, Amber's fight could be worse. It's gonna- four turns still very good, and it was a relatively fast four turn, so we'll see what happens as we wait for the lag to catch up on Amber's screen. I, I can hear T-Pat raging I in think Spokane, would also have all the way there. here in Indiana. Yeah, you can hear him yelling. <laughs> no! Amber got oh, no! paralyzed! No, 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 paralyzed no, no, no. So oh, no! That's so bad. No! Uh, this this opens the door big time for Triv to, uh, to, to catch up. Triv could catch up now. Um, that really sucks for Amber. Um, there's not a lot of things you can do to recover from paralyzing you this fight. You have to heal here just to make sure okay. that... Okay, there's she the self-destruct. She got That's the self-destruct, and That's she should something. get the uh, kill on the Raticate as long as Bone Marine doesn't miss. Trace doing something to and help somebody out. does get the kill on the rat. So All she right, just Triv, has to Triv break now through paralysis hot now. on Amber's heels starting the first turn of Archer right about now. T-Pat pulling ahead even though there was the, the fabled three turn was within his grasp. What a five percent miss on the boomerang, or what, uh, was it fifteen? Ten percent. Okay. Okay. No, no para. 
no para for Amber on turn uh, turn three here. Yeah, if only the Cuban went for headbutt on T-Bat screen, it would have probably and, probably still killed. So. And Triv got uh, I'm almost no protect. 100% sure that would have killed, and that that wouldn't have even had to worry about the accuracy. Triv getting, um, I think, also self-destruct no protect, yeah. um, which is good yep. to see. Amber through the fight, but man, that sucked. Um, that sucked. That's all you can say. Also got the four the turn. Para. Yeah, but she'll have to heal before the um, the uh, no. geo, the JJ fight. No. You get a, you get a free heal. heal. Oh yeah, I forgot it here. was after this fight. So, Caden and Carolyn can still really swing this race, um, but seeing paralysis for Amber might have cost any good chance to catch up. And Triv's going to have a five turn because the Cubone unfortunately went for headbutt on Raticate instead of Aww. the Bone Meringue. So, um, that oh, is and the Weezing protected. Oh, that's. Oh, oh, no. You hate that. Well, Cubone should be able to clean up the fight here then. We hope, anyway. It's attacking because it's Sucker Punch, so. Yep. That's the, that's the easiest way to tell if uh, Trace is going for the focus energy or going for the uh, the attack is if Sucker punches into the Q-Bone. Okay, Triv, Triv is through. He, he, ugh, just feels bad about the protect. Yep. Um, but... Teapot in... Teapot just barely finishing off the J&J &J fight while Amber is just getting into it. It's still very, very close. Such Anyone's a close damage. race. Uh, T Pad is ahead on catches, though, worth noting. Uh, he just has the gifts left. Whereas I think Amber has one more Evo in the back. Oh, he just got the Pidgeot, my opponent. Yeah, he just got the Pidgeot, Pidgeot Evo now. Amber having to evolve Weezing, which I think will be here, or it might be on Sabrina. Uh, it should be. There it is. Be okay, it's right it now. Is. Yep. Oh, I always like seeing Thunderbolt hit the Dodrio. It doesn't. It does about half um, for most Dodrios, I think. Uh, and then if you use 2C in Elite Four, you usually grab Dodrio, and then it's at half health, meaning it's mm -hmm. slightly more likely for Champ to target it. This is going way far ahead, but it, it keeps that health all the way. Uh, so it's kind of nice, but didn't happen here, unfortunately. Yeah, Teapot about... 40 to 45 seconds ahead here. Yeah, which in in the grand scheme of things, like that sounds that sounds like Actually, a lot of time. Not. That that sounds like a lot of time with the, the caliber of these runners, but with two of the two of the big three fights still uh, still remaining, not to mention any other little shenanigans that might happen along the way. Um, you know that that 45 seconds is not a not a ton of time for for breathing room for uh, no. for team no. Here, so. no, it's not. I think um, I I think I just heard someone from, drop from the Discord call because it is focus time. If any of these runners mess up, the other ones are right on their heels, and that could cost the race. So it is time to close chat. It is time to close distractions. It is time to close your door if you have a cat that really likes to come in and bug you. <laughs> it is time to focus. T Pat on the. Uh... Finishing up the Geo fight as Amber is starting it. Tree of getting her muck fully evolved, so all three of them just have the uh, the last two pokes left to grab, uh, which are gift pokes, like we mentioned before. They only take about 20 seconds total to, to grab on the way out. And there's some piloting being done for the Pikachu route um, that may actually have a use for Lapras. Um, that's still being developed. Um, I think it was Sandy Beach and Dynam that were looking at that. Yes. Um, so maybe we'll see that next round. Uh, I don't think- Sandy um, did it on my race. Yeah, I think they were still trying to feel things out. Like I think I saw some updated strats in the works. Um, I don't think Triv has this knowledge yet, this forbidden knowledge. Um, so we're probably not seeing it on this race, um, but we'll have, to, we'll have to see what happens. Yeah, Pokey Guy uh, did forfeit in the other race. Um, I do have that oh. up on my side here. Um, it, uh, I believe he hit a uh, hidden optional there. Uh, he oh, the slow brew optional on the water Sad. route. 
that's a really rough one, and I do not blame him whatsoever. That happens. Well, GG's. Um, he improved so fast in this tournament, so that's... It, it, he, he still he came did. really he, far. He, he never... He only did, like, one complete run, maybe, before the he, entire tournament. He did He did a, a run literally at midnight the day of his race. It was amazing. And then is already sub-315, which is yeah. ridiculously fast. It is Poke Guy, and the man is cracked, but still that's impressive regardless of who you are so like i i didn't have many time to learn the run and somehow got sub 320 and i'm like that's pretty good so you know d lenses um okay so t-pad is now out of silco he grabbed lapras from the looks of things and he's gonna go grab um i don't want to try and re mispronounce it like matt did <laughs> he's gonna go grab Perico. porygon <laughs> off to grab por porygon or Igon. that's not what i hear every time you say it um so he is going to grab that, and that makes 50 for T-Pat. So he's done with his catches as long as nobody miscounted, and I don't think so. Uh, so now we're just going to go do our final shop and fight Sabrina, and then we're going to go fight Koga. Um, there is a is... little bit... Oh, sorry. I was going to say, Triv just finished up with Geo. She's grabbing the Master Ball now. And uh, yeah, now it's just another Gym Blitz and E4 pretty much here on out. Yep. Yeah. There's a little bit of... Um, time swing that can happen in Sabrina's gym. Um, like you're seeing in Selfco right now, um, there's these teleporters, and if you approach them in the middle, um, you're, you save a little bit of time if you as to where if you approach them from any other part of it, because your character will kind of readjust. Um, so you'll you'll lose a little bit of time as your character like centers themselves on the teleporter. So um, these high-level runners probably have better practice at it than I do, where I it's, definitely it's lose a lot it. of time. It's about a second too. per teleporter if uh, if you don't hit them optimally. It, it costs so it could add up. Per Considering yeah. how close this race is, it could definitely add up. So we'll have to we'll have to see how good these teleporters are. Uh, T Pat doing pretty good on that first one. So clearly he he knows what he's doing. So and I'm and and Sabrina has the bane of T Pat's existence for the yep. uh, for one of her pokes here with the uh, the slow bro for. Those of you that are are unfamiliar with T-Pat, he was on a, I believe it was the first time he was on like a sub three, three double O run. And yes. uh, he misclicked on the Slowbro. Oh. Slowbro does not have kill AI and killed T-Pat Starmie. Oof. So, you hate to see it. My gosh. I, it, um, it was, it was, happen. Tra it was travesty. Misclicks definitely happen in this run. Not to mention just like, they're joy cons. Missed inputs. They're, yeah, mm -hmm. they, they can eat your inputs. There can be snap back um, if you're drifting. That it, like, it can just kind of show up randomly in the race and you can mm -hmm. lose something. So, yeah. Um, t pad having what I think was a relatively clean um, teleporter puzzle. Uh, Amber is just starting theirs, and theirs looks also pretty good um, from from what I'm seeing so far. Uh, so, t pad kind of kind of pulling ahead here. I don't know, uh, or at least maintaining his lead. But we'll see if. Um, Koga's gym wants to stop any player from doing better or worse, so I guess we'll go from there. Drift uh, is buying special. I saw that. Joy-Con Drift hit, like, hit somebody or hit, or hit Alexa. So. Triv has an absolutely gross star uh, and did the shopping for all of the risky strats, and you know what? I don't blame her whatsoever. Her star is correct, yeah. so. Stars. That could be a place where Triv could catch up um, if any of these runners decide to go for safe strats. Uh, they, I they... would imagine Amber will start to go some risky just to catch up here. We'll have to see. Like, there's... Oh, the status lag is unfortunate. Um, I could see an argument to do both risky or safe for either of these runners. Um, or any of these runners, to be perfectly honest. T-Pat um, Star has got the stats to be able to go for the risky strats and be perfectly safe. It's just a matter of if he's mm. willing to risk the 1 in 24 chance that, uh, you know, he gets crit from either the uh, the, the Doug Trio or yeah. uh, uh, Champions Pidgeot or a, you know, a crit hyper beam from the, uh, the Seedra from Lance. Yeah, and there's also been some timing. Um, I'm not saying the race is like this close or this not close, but um, save strats in the, the Elite Four from Agatha to Champ, I think only lose, it's been timed to be about like 20 seconds um, over just doing 1C. So 
there's a chance that T-Pat would go for those safe strats to guarantee the win. Um, yeah. If he's if he's ahead enough, um, Amber could just try to do that to get second to try and um, maybe dodge like etiquette or something, depending on who it is, just to place time. <laughs> maybe Amber's like, you know what? I don't want to fight Echi. I'm just gonna go to lo lower bracket and uh, take my chances. Maybe. Don't worry, she'll, she'll probably get paired up with me again. And Regardless, then one of the <laughs> racers is going to end up in lower bracket pot one, and yep. I, I, I don't care who you are in the lower bracket. You better watch these out. These are not the racers you want to see in your pool. No. This is so such a close race. T-Pat going for the early uh, elixir here. Oh, okay. With his special, I think that's okay, because he's going to be scalding yeah. a lot, isn't that correct? Correct. He's gonna be he's yeah. gonna be doing a lot of scalds here in Koga's gym. Uh, let's see what a special attack looks like. One thirty-four. That's yeah, pretty he's good. Already, he's Bald already got the guaranteed, guaranteed range on yep. Lorelei's Lapras, so he can um, almost already do a lot of like riskier stuff in Elite Four. Yeah. So he did he not get buy any spadefs or defenses. He's going pure two C strats all the way through. He's, Yep, he's oh, playing okay. safety strats the entire way through E4, it looks I like. I kind of think that's smart, if I'm honest. Like, Amber's far enough behind that, like, as long as he gets good fights, which he should, um, that's... Amber's gonna have a hard time catching up, and Amber's gotta go for some risky stuff. One fumble, and he's he's fine, right? Yeah, yeah, one one mess up from... Basically, at this point, for T-Pat, one, one bad crit is going to be the difference between him going on... Yep. Or, Continuing on in the upper bracket or dropping to the lower bracket here. So now we're just gonna see if T Pat did the thing. Amber is also guaranteed. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, T Pat has done the thing. Um, that means that he is in Koga's gym. He caught fifty Pokemon. Yep. He he didn't get forty nine by mistake. He didn't get fifty one by mistake. All of it's T -Pat fine. T Pat can count. T Pat can count. Good job. Um, and now he's gonna fight the second and the terrible three. Uh, Kaden. Uh, Caden, who is basically the actual final boss of Koba's gym. I'm not going to say what he could do until after this fight, uh, just in case. Let's wait until Triv gets past Caden. <laughs> yeah, I'm for real. <laughs> let's not mention it until after Triv is in the fight. So yeah, good call. Let's just, let's just call let's, it as we let's see it. Let's not. Yeah, the, oh, so T-Bot's going to X special attack and go. It's, everything's going to be fine. So, and all three of them did do the early elixirs here, um, and oh, no. Amber Toxic just finished with the... That's, old... That happens. That's fine. You yeah, just heal fine. it. Okay, see, the protect was there. Totally fine. Nothing okay, fine. bad that's about this fight fine. happening see, at all. See, get Nothing red. bad. Get red, Caden. That's just a single turn. That's not a big issue. You lose, like, yeah. 10 seconds, maybe, if that. Caden got out-predicted. You know, he suck it. It's not bad until the game decides to troll. Okay, so the Beedle protected, that's not that bad. You have enough scalps that yep. it's not the end of the world. Mm. So a little bit of time loss, but nothing bad happened, and nothing bad is going to happen to Amber, who is also starting this fight. Amber gonna get the protection one? Which is what you wanna see. It is. Moonblast. Oh, it was just a moonblast. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing Moon wrong there. Oh, no special attack, attack drop. drop. And now Don't gets say that. Triv is still having to do this fight. And T Pat is now beginning Koga. Honestly, if I it's... don't mind getting special attack drop. You just psychic That's the. That's true. Triv's atta special attack is high enough that it almost doesn't matter anyway. That's not the thing that's the issue here. I know, I know. <laughs> let's see, let's I see have if any of these this fight. <laughs> Let's see oh, if any of these had... gamers get lucky on Koga with a turn one explosion. Once Triv gets is... through this fight, I will mention what happened. Yes, if we can get an explosion, and it doesn't crit, of course. Um, of course. Yeah, I, I've, I've had a diploma run. Well, no, not a diploma run, an AOP race against t Fat no less. Oh, yeah? Uh, I got crit with boom turn one. Good. Not good, but you know what I mean. No. No, I saw him you like, died. wait, you let's go, let's go. Oh, crap. Freak, I'm dead. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please. Please, no. All right. Oh, we no. To... Oh, no. 
Triv no. is um Triv is up oh. in the bad fight where oh, no. uh, minimize happened and no, now Muck is no, being a jerk. Okay. No. So oh, double minimize. Oh. In this uh, protect two, oh my god, it's so bad. And okay, so the minimize protect what I would do, what I would do here is summon the second controller and use yep. stomp because stomp is Gary. Okay, never mind, she got through it. Okay, good. But for for everyone who isn't aware, um, if you use stomp on a Pokemon that is minimized, you bypass the accuracy check and you just always hit. It also does double damage. Um, so if you have an extra X attack in the back, you just use it on the Rapidash and it's two hit KO at worst. And if you don't have an X attack handy in the back you just it's a four turn but you get through it and you're getting a little trolled but you're not like using using all of your you're, psychic you're not, pp yeah and I we, you want to have that. four no you it's super have four cool psychics after this gym that's amazing yeah it's super super cool mm -hmm. um so triv is okay because the only i think she only has one pokemon she needs to psychic right now um so her mm -hmm. her pp count's gonna be okay but that could have been real bad <laughs> That could have been real bad. Um, may even have to have go to a Pokemon Center at some point. Uh, T Pat getting pushy push. Uh, Amber about and to Amber's join already him. through Koga. This is so close. Um, Amber, I think has Amber had a good close. Koga. Amber did what? Sorry. Amber had a good good Koga. It wasn't yes. wasn't a four turn, but she she didn't get protect uh, spam from any of uh, Koga's Pokemon. Chat saying I am so stressed. Me too. Me too. Little etchy Amber sweat in the combo. the gold key, so it's literally just the difference between this little cutscene getting the strong push and then the menu. That's so it. So, this is, um, did anyone see Ember's speed, by the way? I did, I did I missed not. It. We'll see it probably inside Geo's gym. Okay. She should, um, be, she should be safe for the Pidgeot coming up here. I'm um, pretty I, sure, yeah. I hope so. I know that Amber has said if you get level, if, if at level 45 when you teach Pump, you have 87, you're totally fine. But And I didn't think that she had that. Um, so I'm just not no, sure. No, she was at 86 of 46. Yeah. So the, I'm only, I'm not sure because of that. Um, so I hope she should have gotten at least, she should have gotten at least two uh, points for uh, for speed on the level up because it's really only okay. if you've got really bad speed that you're in in danger of not uh out we'll have to keep pidgeot. an eye on it because for those that don't know pidgeot in rival 5 has sand attack so let's, trace let's trace goes back in time to teach his pidgeot sand attack because he doesn't have it on the last time our last time that we uh, uh are in the uh, the actual solution is that it's just an extra pidgeot so, like, he's caught, like, a Pidgey and a Pidgeotto, and then he went and caught a Pidgeot, or whatever, and he's been teaching them all different moves as he goes. He's like, uh, I want to use this Pidgeot for this fight. I'm and the Mega see... Pidgeot has Heat Wave. I'm going to see if I can figure out when T-Pat enters Geo's gym, and then compare it with Amber. I said Trace. You said Trace, obviously. Did I say Trace? I don't know. You I was paying trees, attention. Trees. I'm too tense uh, at the moment. Okay, 232.44 for T-Pet entering the gym. Kid Rocker, let's be honest. This is the guy who keeps mispronouncing Mons in really bad ways. I'm not mispronouncing anything, okay? <laughs> What's this we Pokemon love... called? Which, which one? Something it's not. You can pick. <laughs> Which one, Nidorino? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, that one's fine. The Porygon, no. <laughs> Porygno, <laughs> you mean. <laughs> like Larpus. I, I, I only know one person in this Okay, call. so, yeah, hi. <laughs> hi what's up, Razor? So, t <laughs> entered Geo's gym at 232.44, and then Amber entered the gym at 233.24. So, just under, I think that's 40 seconds separating the two runners at the moment. t -Bat doing some sick movement that I saw from Sandy the other day, where you use the 2C to block um, Samuel from walking up to you if you don't quite line up with the, with the pad, which I've never done. So mm -hmm. really sick tech. Um, I love it. I need to figure out how to do it when I come back to this game. That is cool. he's, yes. t -Bat is safe with this Starmie. He can just Psychic a Stomp and... He, I wouldn't be surprised if he one shots the uh, Neo King with Psychic. Not here. quite. Um, Missed the range. Quite get it. Cleaned up, cleaned up with the uh, with the stomp. 
That's very hard to get the guaranteed Oko with Psychic. I've I've tried it three times, like Psychic Stomp with like 132 special attack armies. Uh, mm -hmm. and Amber I've hit the range going one C on somehow. Samuel. Pray, pray. Oh, oh. Also, please, she Amber, avoided. Please. She avoided Samuel please. walking up to her. She's a gamer. Go, Amber. Go. Hit the pump. Yes. There we go. And gets it. Let's go. Let's go. Amber realizing she needed to go hard. It's like Amber going bigger, is... going home right Am now. Amber needs to go risky strats at this point to have a chance of taking over T Pat. I didn't see was uh, T Pat one C. Uh, he is two C for Geo. Okay. Yeah. So he did not buy. He did not buy any of the defends or special defends. So spoilers. He is... Jim Eight is actually Mafia Boss Giovanni. What? What? No way! Whoa! Who knew? What? Who knew? And all, all three are in the gym, by the way, with Triv starting uh, the Tamer. Keeping in mind also that Triv had a 40 second disadvantage going in because she loaded a backup. This yes. is such a close race, and what great, what great performance by all these runners. That's all three of these runners. This is why you could have told me any three of these yeah. racers win this race, and I would have believed you. You could have told me any order this race had finished in, and I would have believed you. And you still could. Like, if anyone goes for a risky strat and misses, you know, like, it's it's a whole thing. Oh, Triv also going 1C Samuel. Uh, T-Pad also got um, the f the fine 2C version of this fight, where Rapid Ash dies. Mm -hmm. There is a chance that um, Rapid Ash can live on Power of Love because it is your ride Pokemon, and that Amber does increase going risky. I'm not surprised, um, and I hope I hope it's fine. That should be fine. That should be fine. Uh, it, oh my gosh, six HP. Oh. It's fine. It's fine. We're this fine. Is fine. I'm fine. This is fine. How are you? We're fine. How are you doing? Amber There's no priority. Amber priority doesn't heal. exist. Amber will need but to heal, but so will T-Pet, because T-Pet also has to revive the Rapidash. Yep, so T-Pet has not to the revive worst. Rapidash. Oh my god, this is so sweaty. How are, how are you doing, chat? Are you also as worried as I am? <laughs> Hold on like, to your butts, chat, because this, this is gonna get Amber good. has to blitz this entire game. Like, uh, okay, the question is, do we think Amber is gonna 1C Naomi? Greta, more worried uh, than I am, but that makes sense. Uh... 137 special attack, 127! That's a speed tie on the Pidgeot. Yikes. Just, just win That's the speed not good. tie, easy. Win the speed just tie, win there the is... Speed tie. Easy. Win the speed tie, no no problem whatsoever. Okay, T-Pad is reviving the Rapidash and healing the star, uh, so that way he can go into this fight a little bit better. He's full healing the Rapidash, which I don't know if you need to, but I'm also not well versed, and T Pat knows this game I'm, way better than I do, so I have to defer to his judgment. I'm betting T Pat is planning to two C Naomi, um, just for just for the safety. I'm not sure what the defenses on his star looks like for uh, potential crunches, um, but I would not be surprised if he's planning on uh, two C Naomi coming up here. He should, uh, in my humble opinion, he probably should. <laughs> Do not give consent to one. <laughs> Extra sick. <laughs> we, lo we love you, Naomi. Thank you for yes, being such a do. good sport. <laughs> you're you're uh, such a good sport. <laughs> no, T-Pat, you absolutely don't. Um, you, you absolutely don't take that risk. Not even a chance. Uh, Amber, however, has to go for a lot of things right now. I feel I'm so sweaty. I I just want I just want to outspeed the Pidgeot. That is all I've wanted in life. Um, Amber's Amber special attack, by the way, I don't believe is going to be good enough to try and go for one C and Naomi. No. Um, no. She's she, so that's a guaranteed uh, two C most likely. I think it's good enough to do one C for a lot of the elite four. And not worry about it too much though. Like I, well, Hydro guarantees the kill. Let's that's not, not go not there. The issue. Okay, so remember the there was a time is you need to be able to survive two crunches. There was a time in this game where you only you, where you weren't allowed to summon the second controller, uh, and that sounds like hell. Partially because of this fight that T Pad is starting yeah. right now, um, because this fight is um, it's fine. Naomi, do it. With two C, but not not fine with one C. It's bad. Yeah, the uh, the the blue fight was the worst fight for the one uh, C strats. It um, looks like um, you don't have anything for executive. That's true. But... Yeah, 
Also, it looks like that um, 1C Samuel made up like 10 seconds for Amber, not to mention also the 1C Geo. Both Boss of those things. Lost the C type, but Pidgeot missed Air Slash. Oh! Amber, Amber did not get the pocket sand. Amber's heart is just Clean going like through. crazy. Yeah, but the problem was less the damage and more the, um, the possibility of sand attack. Sand but... attack would have been the bad thing there, but it was 1 in 4 to choose. Sand Air attack slash, is behind like us, sand though. Attack, let alone one and two, just to go into the. That hell is far assault. behind us. We don't have to worry. Thank God. <laughs> and Triv and Triv is right on their heels. She is exiting mm -hmm. the gym right now at a Again, 240. Triv is unfortunately a little bit behind. Um, still a really good pace, though. Needs to be stated. Like these runners are all. After Geo is. These runners are going out of their mind right now. Um, tr if if these runners stumble, Triv is there to clean up the pieces. Um, and I don't know if Triv's going to go for 1C for a lot of these strats. Her star is good enough to do so, so might happen. Or she might just be like, I'm just going to play for lower lower pot seating. Like, I just want to finish a run at this point. That's also fair. Um, T-Pat and Amber are going all out. I bet Amber is yep. just like risking everything as far as any biscuits can. Just going so hard. And yeah, this only is... about 20 seconds separates these two right now. This is so what we right, wanted to see. Right now, they're on like a, a 303 pace at this point, T-Pat and Amber. T-Pat hit an optional and didn't get Rhyhorn. I must remind you all. Yes. T-Pat lost, yes, T lost two minutes skilled. because of this. <laughs> because of T-Pat is he as cracked as he is jacked. T-Pat is right. a legend. And now they have to be careful with all the mashing here that they don't speak to the Rapidash. Yes. That is a very real thing that can happen in this game. If uh, mm -hmm. if you mash too much, one too many times, you'll start talking to the Rapidash instead of, you know, stopping the dialogue. I've experimented with just holding down, um, I, I use left Joy-Con, ZL, um, the entire time I'm on this route. It's not great for my, for my hands. My hands will hurt after this run regardless, but... I find that if I do that and just mash B and then A when I definitely know there's dialogue, mm -hmm. that's pretty good. Um, but if you're if you slip it all and you put it back on, you talk to Rapidash, so you know, kind of risky. He has called in two C, which is the correct move. Yes, he does have no, good enough special attack move. for the range. <laughs> Go big or go home. Uh, well, so we we'll see if um, any of these runners. We'll see if these, any of these runners pick up the full restore at the end of Victory Road. Um, did Amber's Amber just do what I she's, she's doing? For she's going for the range. I believe in you, Amber. I absolutely we believe. We, we must summon we all Hydro Pump hits. We must Amber, summon please. new Amber. Holy. By the way, 2C in, for this fight is an 8 second difference. Oh, oh no. Oh. Hit the range, hit the pump. Okay, Got so Am oh. Amber what successfully has Amber one seat Naomi. Through. Hold on to your butts, Ooh. folks, because this run is oh, not over yet. Oh, it's gonna yet. be a bumpy <laughs> ride, everybody. Okay, so let's recap. Amber is going as hard as they possibly effing can. T -pad Amber is, two is seeing, gaming. T Pad is two seeing at least Lance and Champ. Um, probably can get through Agatha if he picks up the full restore, though. Um, Amber's probably not want to seeing anything 17 seconds behind this is possible i think we timed it that like 2c it's is about, it's about 20 18, seconds 18 seconds slower so it's possible amber and will probably have to go to plus th uh, plus six though on lorelei whereas have to... is safe at um, plus two at this point. i don't know I also don't know if Tech is listening, but what happens if the runners are within one second on screen? Do we have to go to the tapes? Uh, we might. Because we'll probably have to time it. Uh, yeah, uh, go to tapes. This is go to tapes, ridiculous. okay. So, oh my gosh, this is going to be so close and we might not know the results until we check the tapes. That's crazy! Hypnosis missed. That's so Tech. Oh. And get psychic. That is the perfect fight. This is a nail biter. Get in. Oh my god. This is this is going to come down to the wire for these two. 
Yeah, if you just hydro pump Agatha, we won't need to go to the tapes and it'll be very clear. Um, so clearly, neither of you should do that. 14 seconds separates them right now. Oh my god. No, okay. T Pat getting the free heal? T Pat's so sweaty. Oh no, what happened to Triv? Oh, it had to summon Triv. 2C, I th or at least, like, missed the pump, I think. Did. Ooh! Oh, oh no. No. no! 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 Triv! Sucker punch got her. Oh, you hate to see that. Oh my gosh. In the sucker outrage. punch into outrage? Oh. The outrage went in, it's 50-50, and it went into the empty, um, the, the now Starmie screen. Oh my god. Oh no. That's not going to be a two-hit kill. Uh, plus Pumping for the win. Okay, okay. Oh my god, Hydro Pump didn't kill either? Right. t Pot's on Amber Carolyn, and... but there's too much happening yeah. right now. Yeah, both t Pat and Amber Carolyn. are on Caroline, but... We're all watching Triv here. Triv kills the Kanga, thank goodness. Triv is there we go. Through. Triv, I'm so sorry. He uh, hit the Hydro Pump on Jinx. Oh no, Amber got put oh, to sleep. Oh, Amber got to sleep. No. That's so rough in this situation. Uh, also, T Pad hit 139 special attacks, so Dragonite isn't going to be a range for him by the time he gets there. Um, so that's and something. Dodges the... Dodge the miss. Oh no. Oh Caroline. my gosh. Caroline, Caroline strikes. Carolyn the decider, because, like, there was. Oh my drop. gosh, another one. Are you... Summon no. Ducey, Amber, please. <laughs> no! Oh, the crit. oh, the crit. No, what? Oh. Oh, that hurts. That hurts so much in this no. situation. Carolyn p literally paying back T Pat from last round. Like, she was the reason that Caroline, lo that T Pat lost that race last <laughs> round. And she went, I'm sorry about that. Let me, let me fix it this time. Oh, Carolyn was the decider. This, this was, this is still, I still think this is anybody's race at this point. Grid. As Amber says, I think Carolyn decided, though. Uh, I, I do, too. Yeah. As, unfortunately. T-Bat now can just 2C um, strat safety, through yeah. the entire T -Pat E4. T-Bat can safety the whole way. You did want to win like this? I mean, that would be I, fair I think if he, you did. I think he meant to say he did not want to win like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. No, not like this. No, not like this. This was, this was such a great race, and... Uh, we we I think we got really lucky that we got to watch three three runners of this caliber. It's Granted, still there's not, still time left. It's still not technically over yet. I guess there's a world where um, if you're two seeing champ and you're T bat and you get crit targeted by air slash, you could still lose. Um, yeah. But you know how likely is that? I don't know. <laughs> T bat clearly did not mean to say I did want to win like this. Just so we're all clear, he didn't want to win like this. Which, I, yeah, yeah no. Let's not bully T Pat, please. No, no, this is a very no, tense no, situation. I think we're all sweating. Amber is cursing Carolyn's name. Triv is cursing Naomi, Look, too. And Tri all three of these racers, okay? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Let's see if T Pat grabs the uh, full restore for. 2C or for 1C strats for Agatha, or if he's just planning, yep, he's planning to go 2C for uh, Agatha here. At this point, yeah, absolutely do that. I think that means like a 304 pace for T Pat, and that's very respectable. Yeah. Um, yeah. But he's that means that almost assuredly, not quite, but it's looking pretty likely that the the upper four um, upper four finals next round is going to be T Pat, Headstrong, and Etchy. Which is a race that I do not want to play in at all because I would be no. destroyed. <laughs> I would get so destroyed. That's a that's the, another race that could be decided by exactly what we just saw. 
Um, it, it really could. Oh, uh, and Triv is now going through it with Caroline, too. Uh, well, there's a reason I said that the terrible Trifecta, but Carolyn being the real final and boss of this through. tournament. Okay, Triv got through. That feels bad, almost. Nice 144 special attack, 140 speed. Naomi, no, you were fine. Caroline decided this one. <laughs> well, Naomi gave Triv some trouble, but we can forgive Naomi in the chat. But this is this is a race I think any any day of the week they could run this race again and these three would finish in any particular order and I would not I be agree. surprised. Yeah, same. Yeah. So I think Amber at this point it might be planning to just go two C strats for uh uh for E four just so as that way she can lock in her spot for that uh that upper upper pot for the lower bracket next round here. I would not have... Like, coming in, I didn't think T-Pat or Amber would be in this position where one of them would be in the lower bracket. Oh, yeah. It's quite the thing. Um, we're starting Elite Four for two of our players. Um, T-Pat already sailing through Lorelei. Um, I wasn't kidding earlier when I said, at least on the last time I calmed, where I actually, because I'm a decent singer, would sing Lorelei by Sticks to myself to calm down for Elite Four because the music otherwise stresses me out. Um, mm. I will spare you. Um, What's worse today? <laughs> you say that now, you, you say you're a decent singer and then you won't do any- Wow. I am a good singer, but I won't do it because I would worry that tech would have to worry about copyright. Um, and I don't want to <laughs> give them that. Um, but hey, if people want to donate to the tourney, I would consider putting up a recording of it at some point. Uh, where is oh, the snap. prize pool? Just gonna drop it in the chat there. Yeah, I know Jordan will meet me. That's why I'm not doing it. I like Jordan. <laughs> Jordan's good guy. Jordan is good. We got T Pat going you into You should just Bruno. post it in Discord anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, T Pat going into uh, Bruno and going to. Key oh, yeah, he's got enough HP and he's got 2C in the back that I think that we'll just see Stealth Rock here. Yeah, so yeah. nothing to worry about in this fight whatsoever. Um, nothing can go wrong here. Not even a thing. So, and Triv grabbing the full restore, so she is going to be doing yeah, faint uh, doesn't the, exist. the one C strats for Agatha, it looks like. And even if faint did exist, it wouldn't kill from here. Yeah, faint isn't real. What's faint? I don't know. Never seen I mean, that. I've never seen it myself. 142 special attack for T-Pat, no worries about the Dragonite whatsoever. is through Lorelei here. Moving on to Bruno, where again, there's absolutely nothing that can go wrong. Nothing whatsoever. Nothing, nothing at all. Still a very close race, even with Caroline. Amber, it's I true, was actually. Say, even with Caroline, Amber could still pull this out if something goes terribly sideways for T-Pat here in the next three fights. It's, you mean it's like unlikely. like 2C champ lives? Yeah, like it's unlikely that anything goes wrong with the 2C strats. Um, but yeah, if 2C lives, he could lose a little bit more time. So we'll have to see. I guess it's not guaranteed just yet. That final it's race could be- It's not guaranteed. That final race could be actually headstrong Amber. We'll see. Come on, Amber, come on. As much as I don't care if either T-Pat or Amber wins, I do want to see Amber at least I would love to see a close, a close race. Because, yeah, that, that Carolyn feels bad, man. Okay, uh, Dragonite also guaranteed. Amber, no problem. 
Yeah, Dragonite will be guaranteed for all three of these. I think it was guaranteed for Triv like two levels ago. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> And before Triv actually outspeeds the Gengar and never has to worry about it on Agatha anyway. I don't know actually. I'm not sure how fast that Gengar is. 154 speed. Ooh, I don't think so. But well, well I guess we'll see in the level up. <laughs> I've I've only ever seen a star me fast enough to outspeed Gengar once. Yeah, I think it was. I think Sandy. Had I've one, only actually. seen it once on any percent. I've seen it multiple times on AOP. That would make sense though. T-Pat, um, all these runners have good enough special attack where if they're too seeing, uh, too seeing Agatha, they can use Scald and not have to worry about super effective text. Uh, so that's a little bit of extra time save there. So it is something, uh, something to note on that. It actually can be a range, uh, especially for the Golbat here. Yep. If you um, need 135 special attack to, to yep. not Thunderbolt the Golbat. Which I think it's like T-Pat's one... T -Pat star definitely is good enough to do that. Very, all these yeah. stars are thankfully. Um, though I don't think I don't think the other. Oh, enough on all. never mind. I stand corrected. Amber is going to two see Agatha here. Yeah, yeah I'm not, I'm not surprised. I think Amber is just going to guarantee that that pot yep. one upper. Amber just going to finish the game or pot maybe? one more. I mean, I, I agree. Amber realizes, like, realized that Caroline, I don't have a chance now. So, I, uh, I, I want to say something, but I just realized I'll wait um, for for Triv. Um, lowest HP I've seen going into the lower half of Bruno in a little while, though. Uh, Triv, is, Triv is safe from, from Fane at that point. Oh, with the level up, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Faint does, I if you have minimum def defense, which Triv does not, um, I think it can do 22 max. Um, so if you get the awkward situation where it, they pre-roll a crit and then they roll a crit, which I think is like ha not even half a percent to happen, um, that, that can be bad for you, but I don't think it's very likely at all. No, and, and a crit, a crit's only gonna do one and a half times the uh, the maximum oh, that's true. Yeah. roll. So it's like you're basically even if you're 22, rolled, you're only looking on at yeah. most. Yeah, I forgot 33. they changed that for Gen 7 because yeah. I've been playing Pokemon since it came out, and it's been two times in my mind for a very long time. Yeah, they changed that mechanic. I believe this is the uh, this is the first was game it that Gen they 7? changed. It was Gen... This is the first game that they changed it from 1 in 16 to 1 in 24. Mm -hmm. I think it was Gen 6 is where they changed crit to 1 and a half times instead of 2 times. Okay. Yeah. Was it Gen 6 or was it Gen 5? I think it might have been oh, Gen I 5. I don't think it was Gen 5. Gen 5 was rough. I know Gen 4 was still 2x. Yeah. I don't remember if Gen 5 was 2x. Might have been. Same, Greta. Same. Okay, so probably Gen 6. Then. Not 5 for sure, yeah, that's what I figured. Um, no, listen, Naomi. I'm not a fan, and you know that. Gen 5 is amazing. Gen 5 is actually Ooh. my second favorite. Amber 1 seeing Lance, a uh, little low HP. Um, I didn't see how many... Okay, going forward on this turn, I don't know if anything on Lance has quick attack. No. Okay, then this is fine. Uh, just gonna try and make up for some yeah, lost Lance, time here. Lance doesn't have any priority here. Um, and so, she be. if the 2C lives, this could still be a close race. If the 2C lives, this oh. could be a very close race, yes. Okay, Amber's pulling out the, the 2C bit a little bit later, so... We'll see yeah, what happens. Yeah, for the traditional 2C. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, because if 2C it... lives on T-Pat, it's still very much a, a race, yeah, but um, it, it's still T-Pat's game. No, for sure. Um, I just realized that the Hyper Beam uh, happened on turn one, which meant that mm -hmm. Amber could take out the controller a turn later, which is what I was referring to. Sorry, my bad. Uh, yeah, that's so that's 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 what happened. Uh, traditional. Yep. If you see Hyper Beam, which I have not. Uh, 
T-Pat opening into champ now. We will see if the Pidgeot is uh, a bro and just kills the Dodrio for us, because that would save Bobbery. us a bit of time. Yeah. Now, Trivial and Agatha, meanwhile, doing a 1C and looks like through, through Agatha now. Um, so yep. only um, a fight behind Amber here. It's a very close race overall. Very good race from all three of these. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, and there the goes the Dodrio. Hit an optional and no Rhyhorn on top of it. Like, no that's kidding. insane. This is like Barry back in the day when, when Barry was a whole thing that happened. T-Bat just mashes to, uh, mashes to a, yep. a solid, solid victory here. Not quite mashes because you do have to change from Psychic to um, Thunderbolt on the Slowbro. But, but is very it 302 close. run? Uh, with Maybe the 2C? I think it's... Yeah. I think it's, um, it's should either be... I should be a low three... High 301, low 302. That's pretty sweet. Because with 2C, there's a little bit of lag for every turn. Because even though there's not a second Pokemon on the screen, the game's still acting like there's a... Second, second mod on the field to decide between for the attacks. Right, yeah. Yep. Alright, Amber also going to see the, the champ here uh, just to get through the video game, which makes a lot of sense. So, so yeah, the these... Oh, sorry. I was going to say, the only Mega that we see the entire game is the Mega Pidgeot here. If we did E4 round 2, all these uh, all these trainers have uh, Megas in the uh, the rematch when you face them. GG's to T-Pat. That is indeed a 302, if GGs. I'm not mistaken. Um, which it is just a 302. goes to show you how crazy these runners are. Um, T-Pat didn't get a Rhyhorn and hit an optional and is getting a 302, which used to be world record just not that long ago. So Less than a year ago, yes. These runners like played up against each other, played out of their ever-loving minds this time. And Amber would have given T-Pat such a run for his money if Carolyn decided to play any kind of game. Play nice. <laughs> play any sort of nice. And Triv right on their heels after a backup and a really bad Naomi. So what a close race. GG's to all these runners. Yeah, uh, GG's to all three. T-Bat finishing with a 302.18, which is 10 seconds slower than the old world record. So yeah. that's pretty incredible. Unfortunately, the Dodrio lived for Amber. Aw, that's a little bit slower. Um, still get it through it. It is a bit it, slower. Yeah, GG's to T-Pat. Uh, amazing, GGs. amazing win. Well, hopefully he'll come in and say some words about that as soon as he gets a second to catch his breath, because holy crap. <laughs> Hell of a run from all three. Hell of a run. Just a, an incredible yeah. let's go race. They're, all of these races are going to be like this going forward. They are. Like that race between Etchy, Teapot, and, and Headstrong is going to be absolutely insane. It's going to be insane. I'm going to have to set aside a time for whenever that gets it gets scheduled and yep triv right. going into into champ Just right now t-pot make wait no etchy's actually going to be at rpt limit break so that helps yeah. me out yeah so they won't schedule it during etchy's run no. you know so oh and Trude amber's all through i think that's going to be a mid 304 for amber ggs i, I should be, be there right by etchy's side the entire, like during that run if he doesn't, sorry, Matt. What was that? I was gonna say Amber should be right around a three o three forty, right around mm -hmm. right around that time there. Oh, and we have our winner joining us. Hey, T Pat, how was hey. that run? Hey guys, I, oh, first of all, I just wanted to give a massive congratulations to uh, my fellow competitors and rivals. Uh, Amber and Triv played out of their minds. They had to. They forced me to try to play out of my mind, and obviously you caught the typo in chat, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, if we can get a W for women in chat, because no kidding. they deserve yes. it. Yes. 
all, the all girl three until Triv reset her back up to girl two, but it still counts as a W for women. It's there in spirit for sure. So how did mm. you feel about that run, T Pat? I was uh, obviously I had to, to to play out of my mind to keep up with Amber because I have nothing but respect um, for these two. And aside from the optional, um, which I was a little miffed about, uh, my early game speed was fine. Like, uh, like, like I've been having some messy early games recently, uh, practice and races and everything. So it was like, okay, like Forest was good. Moon was good. Even my rival free time was still good with the optional and things were moving. And then I didn't get Rhyhorn as well. And I was like, uh, just gotta keep moving. Just gotta keep moving. And I was honestly surprised that I was able to, uh, to stay in contention after that. But I definitely put pulled off all the stops that I needed to do to get this run to finish in the time that it did. So, yeah, yeah. I, like, it, I just think it's uh, because of the pressure, because uh, Amber was, uh, was obviously right there the whole time. It was like, OK, like RNG is going to bully me, but I'm going to make sure I don't make any mistakes. All three of you played out of your minds. You it's so impressive. Out of your minds. So yeah, impressive. Amber, Amber, having just finished with the 304.14, also just joined us. Hey, Amber, how you doing? Hey, uh, how's you going? It's going. That? GG's. Yeah, that was you. fun. I GG's. I enjoyed that. Other than Caroline, that was sad. Caroline, without Caroline, that was an absolute I, I, race. Yeah, it, it, it was. was, it, was, was now, it was gonna be down to the white, uh, literally for Naomi, for Trevaria, Caroline, for you, Amber. This was gonna be down to the wire at the very end. Um. What what was going through your minds as you know, I'm sure you both were kind of listening to us as you were as we were going there when you realized like how close you were to one another what was kind of going through your minds there? Well, okay, I didn't have audio on, but I kind of checked. I started watching the stream kind of around Blaine, and I saw I was about mm -hmm. like 30, 40 seconds behind T Pat, and pretty much at that point I knew like oh I'm I'm going to be like one seeing everything like that was my plan. Yeah, that makes a lot of it, sense. It worked out pretty well until until Caroline. Yeah. It did. Who's going to be beefing with Caroline next is the question. Gosh, okay. Caroline has just been a like, tournament destroyer, huh? Literally the final boss of the tournament. <laughs> I know. Uh, it looks this like is yet another example why if you get a bad s start on Caroline, just summon 2C and get through it. I mean, it, it kind of unreasonable to get like three sleep and like a little three bit. high room yeah, and a little race. Bit. Like, that's it was unreasonable. You can't, but, you can't I mean, play if, around that. No, well, no. But if you're ahead and that's the difference between you winning or losing, it's tough in chance. a race scenario, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Speaking, yeah. And I, I can see that, but obviously, like Amber was just a pinch behind, so it was oh, yeah. down to oh yeah, no. Well, just hit and don't put me to sleep. So yeah. Speaking of uh, rough victory road fights, uh, hey Triv, how's it going? Hey Triv. What an introduction. Well, uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, um, I want to throw my switch out of the window right now. <laughs> yeah, Bad switch entropy. This this entire thing, this entire run was so cursed. Like just getting the thing is, look, this is a, was a five second race PB still. There was mm -hmm. a time there was a time in the race coming out of Sabrina when I was on literal PP pace with the 40 seconds that it took for me to load the backup file. So up until that point, it was basically the race of my life. And then Caden happened, then Naomi happened. Mm -hmm. And yeah, at that point. Those two just trolled. Yeah, that was that was just tragic. Uh, I had to hydro pump the Nidorino, no, yeah, the, the Nidorino and Geos gym because I wouldn't have had enough psychic PP. And even then, if uh, well, if, if Vipum would have come out first <laughs> on, on level five, then I couldn't have psychic the the Marowak either. Or again, I would have ran out of psychic PP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that I don't know. No, I agree. I think I actually said it's like whoever wins this tournament needs to buy Triv a new Switch. Uh, and yeah. go from there. Because... Use, your, use your tournament winnings. Yeah, support no kidding. Support a speedrunner in need. Support a speedrunner in need. It's so true, though. Um, 
Pat. So it looks like you're going to go to the upper four uh, winners bracket versus Echi and Headstrong. How are you feeling about that? Um, nervous, but honestly, like, like the win today kind of reset my mentality, kind of reset my confidence. Um, because I was going through the ringer in round two, and I was just like, oh, I'll never get this. Like, 305 was all I can do in that. And now it feels like I can reset. And to know that this time is actually faster than what Echi did in his last run, it, it just gives me the confidence that anything can happen. And I still think that mm -hmm. that a lot of people's pick -ups, they're going to pick Echi. He's the world record holder. He, he's obviously yeah. insanely good at this game, but but I can show that I can be right there. I don't um, know, too, and, I, and I put my goal for the tournaments, too. Like, I I just wanted to make it to round four, so to still be in the upper bracket of round four is is very special. I don't know. Echi's going to be coming off of, like, RPG limit break for the next round, um, so he'll be playing KH3 instead of Let's Go, so he might be rusty, so this <laughs> this is possible. I don't know. You Anything can happen. As we've learned this race, anything can happen. Maybe we both have to do a full Let's Go run and then face each other in a TCG card game. And then <laughs> Play some Clash. Like, time, like, like, time, like time can be added or subtracted from there as like a modifier. Mm -hmm. uh, and it looks like um, the lower pot one is decided as Etiquette, Amber, Ergote, and Triv. So there's no rematch next round, uh, but is there anyone in the lower bracket either of you are not looking forward to facing? Oh, let me hear who's Sandy? <laughs> Sandy? Is Sandy? Sandy and so Fury, good. maybe? Those are both yeah. runners that have been improving like crazy. Absolutely. Ah. I mean, I definitely do want to race Sandy, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> That's <laughs> fair. That makes That's fair. Sandy yeah. looks excited in the chat with, I, with I the funny faced emote. Sandy in round one, and I feel like that was the optimal time to face Sandy. Right. I, yeah. Agreed. Now, now I'm scared. All the all the lower bracket like, runners. I, I was scared going into that one, and I gave it part. everything I had. Also, at this point, I'm also scared of Dynam because you know I could yeah. also draw that. Oh my gosh, Dynam uh, in pot two. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, no. oh yeah, Dynam's oh, no. in pot two now. Oh, that's scary. Oh, well, maybe that means that if you race Dynam, you'll get a collage. So there's that at least. <laughs> and then you have to race him in SMRPG afterwards for some oh, modifier race, points. Instantly. There's the the Sandy and chat Triv, saying Dynam, sick. Sandy, wait. Or even... Amber and Dynam Sandy could also be possible. So those are My both gosh. those could both be really interesting races. Also, yes, now that there's would the sweating. Be insane. <laughs> that would be something else. Overall though, like like T Pat got a low 302 with Rhyhornless and an optional. Like, you, yeah, like what are you supposed to do against absurd. that? Like, yeah, so, yeah. so right? that yeah. that plus safe strats, if you eliminate so if I don't hit the optional, I do get Rhyhorn and I don't do safe strats, this would have been a three double O low and a PB. So that's yeah. that is how out of my mind I had to play. Yeah. Just I, to feel like I was keeping up with you, Amber. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like Despite, like, I had some, some bad luck, obviously, at some points, but I, I also got some good luck with, like, uh, catches. I got a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. So basically, like, minus attack, like, barely mattered. Yeah, but, you uh, need like, minus attack. attack. Yes, I, Amber had yeah. timid. Oh, yeah. No! Two, two runners had timid to start the run. So Amber Amber had timid Evie, and Triv had timid uh, Pika, and Triv loaded the backup file. Uh, were were you planning on doing Needle King strats at all in uh, Rocket HQ there, Amber, or were you yeah, just planning on just get a, over a small needle points? Was fine. Oh my god! <laughs> if you <laughs> didn't get a Nidorito, dude, I I was trying, I was waiting there for so Round long. And was so like, I really just want like a needle mail, and it just like would not show up. And yeah. also, there was the problem of like, I had a crabby moment. Yes, crabby, that crabby was... moment was really really set the was... tone for the rest of that section. Yeah, and like... I, ha I had to play the rest of that section like pretty safe to make sure I didn't run mm -hmm. out of bombs. Because you ran into great balls on, I want to say, <laughs> coughing, right? You had to poke mm -hmm. ultra poke. Yeah. yeah, I didn't realize it was ultra poke until like, I threw the ball and I was like, huh, that looks weird. Yeah, well, that's because you had no great balls because of that crabby moment, I guess. Yeah, like, for example, like, having to go to Sophia to get the ultras and then go back for yep. Seabone, that was, a, like, a little time loss. I waited really long for a Graveler attack, I think, when normally mm -hmm. I'd just throw, but I just didn't have the great balls to play that aggressive. But what a race. Overall, I, I still feel like I, I played, other yes. than side throws, I feel like I played, like, well. I'm happy with how I played. I mean, yeah. you can't really Motion get upset can... when you go. 
Motion controls just suck. Dude, yeah, I it happens. With the EV throw twice in my life, and it was the last two rounds. At least it wasn't the. It was the only one that was really bad for you this run, TP. I, I think what I'm doing is that I'm holding the controller a little shorter, so I'm doing more of like a flick than a full like throw. And oh, I guess yeah. the flick is just absolutely eating those pokeballs. So I need to probably stop doing that. <laughs> yeah. I, I couldn't believe it. I was just like, oh, this is how this starts? Motion controls yeah. are a thing. They sure are. They are, certainly um, are. Any any final words from any of our runners? That will probably no, just, be one uh, of, I feel like... I'll, I, I'll just, I just want to say ahead. thanks and congratulations to... Uh, and, and, and thanks for the great race. Uh, congratulations to you, the winner. <laughs> yeah, huge GG to both of you. GG yeah, uh, to all of you guys because that was I, I think that was the most entertaining race, race that we've had this this round so far. What a like, sweaty sweaty I'm race. Sad. That's gonna be some of the best gameplay I feel yeah. all three runners overall. Like I feel like all of us played so well and it just kinda came oh, yeah. down to T Pat got a good late game and uh the rest of us did not. <laughs> Carol in the final you boss went the one C Naomi and came out yeah, and like pretty much my theory was that like even if I wipe, I'll still like get into lower pot one. So I was like, I'm not going to heal them. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, oh, I had to pull up the link. Uh, we'll see what's coming I was up. Say, what do we have coming up here for uh, for races? Uh, so there's the one race that should be finishing right about an hour. Just finished with uh, um, just, finished just, finished it. just finished. Perfect. I'll have to go see who who Joker won that won one. That one. Joker okay. won that yeah, one. Okay, like, oh. uh, I pick them. I pick them. Joker won. Uh, Poke Jay Tattles, unfortunately, and the Poke guy did bro. Oh, oh okay. okay, yeah. Uh, well, that's one race my pickums are preserved for. I think I can't remember. <laughs> um, and then I ruined it looks a lot like... of them by taking second. Yeah. Oh, okay. I so ruined, I ruined them all again. I think everybody picked Amber, but let's go, well, T-Pat. You did a, you did a good job, T-Pat. Way to go, T-Pat. Good, good job. I ruined it in the last round because everybody picked me to win, and then I didn't win. <laughs> so what am I doing? Keep that ruining pickums forever. Uh, it looks like later tonight we have at um, six Eastern we have Wave versus Aspect versus Crisis, which That's will be a also be a very good also race. be a good race. Uh, and then tomorrow, um, it's Matt versus Spider versus Sheep at 12 Eastern, which will be a good race again. Um, and then on Monday at 6 Eastern will be Iron versus Kid Rocker versus Vermilion. Another good race, I think. So lots of good That'll races be, to go. That's the last race for this round as well, if I if mm -hmm. I'm, my math is correct. So that is correct. all of the all the all the pots will be set after uh, after that race on Monday evening. Yeah. Yeah, the next be... race tonight is gonna be absolutely nuts because the winner keeps moving, the other two are gone. Yeah, it's gonna these that's true for all of these races coming up, so it's gonna be sweaty once again. It, it's gonna thanks. be very sweaty. Thanks for the additional nerves there, Razor. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, I mean Matt, do me a favor. I don't wanna be like more often than not, you and I are deadlocked and I oh, win yeah. our races more often than not. Sure. And I'm already out. So if you go, if you make it past, well, it's just going to make me feel bad. <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be, these three races go are spider. all going to be very good, very sweaty races. <laughs> they uh, all are. three of these. Best of luck, though, dude. All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Um, get get a snack, stretch your legs, go for a walk. We'll yes. see you. We'll see you in, what, four and a half hours on this channel, PSR TV. Uh, for the next race, and um, just be nice to Caroline. I think she's been through a lot. Oh, two and a half hours. I'm sorry. I'm in a mountain she, time. Moment. I don't have to root for you here because I already know you're going to kick their trash anyway. So true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. We'll see everybody in a couple we'll, hours. We'll see y'all in a couple of hours.